everyone welcome back okay i think we're ready <laughs> i hope you had a good day yesterday i'm sorry that i could not stream i was celebrating my mom's birthday oh that's what i was missing i knew i had to fix something the bot command <laughs> the bot command is what i haven't fixed yet let me update it really quickly because it still says we're playing not so berry and that's not right we're working on building a cruise ship all right let me show you what we've got so far, too, because this has been, I mean, quite the build. Oh, please, hold on. There we go. This has been quite the build. <laughs> we spent, like, I don't know, like, three and a half hours or so the other day working on this. Obviously, it's not done. <laughs> I've done a couple random things, like the bowling alley and the theater, but the rest of it, not finished. So we have a large number of things to work on today, and I think I'm gonna start by trying to work on the exterior some more to get like, you know, this part all figured out. So <laughs> that's gonna be our step one. I think step one today is is uh, the exterior. Why is there a bowling alley in there? Cause it's a cruise ship. There's gonna be all kinds of fun things. Bowling alleys and spas and theaters and gyms and kids corners and all kinds of things. All kinds of things. <laughs> um, so that's what we're working on. A cruise Sims pack would be legendary. It would be cool if they did something boat related. I don't really know what a cruise Sims pack would entail. Cause like, what would the world be? But I don't know, I it'd be interesting to have a boat thing. I guess it's, the, the ship is probably, <laughs> to be too literal, the ship has probably sailed on that cause we already got an island world, but. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. I wouldn't be mad about that, so. Hey, Summer, and Castroni, and Money, and Purple, and Laurel, and Juju, and Katie, and my cats. Thank you for the subs. Danny with the gifted subs. Pepe, and Katie, and Otto, and Sar, and Disco, and Carmella, and Hippie, and Shannon, and Falling, and Isabella. We got Sometimes, and Sunday, and Shan, and Here for Lil Simsy, <laughs> uh, and Nell, and Shark, and everybody. Thank you for the subs. You loved houseboats in The Sims 3? Oh, me too. That's part of why I wanted to build this, is because I was feeling inspired by The Sims 3 houseboats. <laughs> that was like half the half the thing. Can I add a wedding area? You know, Sage, we already figured out the whole floor plan, and it took us a ridiculous amount of time to think about, like, what's gonna go where, and there's not really space for a wedding area anymore. I'll walk you through what's what um, in a minute, just give me a sec, but there's not really space for a wedding area, annoyingly. Because we did kind of talk about that, but it ended up being not... I don't know. Didn't really fit in. So. <laughs> uh, but anyway, anyway. I think... Um, we have a lot to worry about here. Because we need to do so much stuff on this. It's probably going to be a, a few day build. Bar area? We got one, Luna. Restaurant? We got it. Cafe? We got it. Gym? We got it. Hotel rooms? We got it. Uh, sweet, we got it. <laughs> Spa, we got it. Bowling alley, we got it. Movie theater, we got it. Like we, I mean, <laughs> like I said, we spent a long time a couple days ago figuring out all of the um, the layout stuff. Playroom, we got it. I mean, <laughs> you want it, we got it. We got all these things already. So I'm not going to be adding in any um, additional rooms, I don't think, just because there's no space. Is it a ferry or an ordinary shaped boathouse? Or an ordinary boat shaped house? No, it's um, it's supposed to be like a pretend hotel that is floating. Uh, is, is more so the vibes that we're going for. So I'll show you guys around. I'm gonna have to do this like 10 times today, so I'm sorry for saying this now, but basically you come in, there's gonna be like a check-in desk here. Hallway, okay? This will be a bathroom. I probably should put, obviously it's not furnished yet, so it's kind of confusing if you, or just looking at it, but like, this will be a bathroom, okay? <laughs> this will be the kids area. I haven't decorated it yet. Um, there's some more hallways down in the ship. We'll put like some seating down the sides. There's a bowling alley right here when you first come in. I haven't moved the sign yet, but there's gonna be a bowling alley that your Sims can play in. Pretty common for cruise ships, like the big, big ones to have like, you know, random activity. Sometimes they have mini golf <laughs> on cruise ships. Um, down here at the very end, there's like a theater. A lot of times cruise ships will have stage shows that go on. So we have a theater down here. Um, there's like a movie screen in here right now, but it's kind of supposed to serve that purpose. Um, upstairs, this is where the cruise library is going to go. A lot of boats have small libraries with like board games and, and a small set of books. So it's going to be in there. This will be a cafe. Um, here's where the captain drives the ship. As you can see, uh, they have a lovely view. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is their big window so they can see where they're driving. Um, <laughs> and then down here, these are all of the guest rooms. There's gonna be like a room and a bathroom. So there's, there's gonna be five. Um, and there's a gym in the back, which again, haven't decorated yet, but I did put some treadmills so that you could, it's like marking the space. <laughs> Um, upstairs from there, this is gonna be the restaurant, so there's gonna be some seating in here and some seating on this big deck. Um, and then there's gonna be a, a chef's, like, kitchen in here. Uh, this is where the spa happens, so you'll come in here, shower, and then you can get massages, you can use the sauna, get your nails done. And this is gonna be, like, a big fancy suite, so there's gonna be a bed, a bed private bathroom, and a huge private balcony in the fancy suite. Um, there's also a pool. It's like a waterfall pool, we'll get there. Then you go upstairs again. Uh, this is where the like the pool deck is. So there's gonna be some seating. We have like this cool pool over here. Um, this will be the pool bar in this whole area. There's some hot tubs. Um, but yeah, we're still obviously not done, but that's kind of the main floor plan. And like I said, it's gonna be a fake hotel. So the idea is that it's probably gonna be classed as like a spa or a bar or something. And then your Sims would come here and then just not leave. Like you would just spend the night here, just go to sleep and not leave. Playroom area for babies and toddlers? Oh, bestie, I already, like I said, four steps ahead of you all. <laughs> um, we haven't furnished it yet, but there is a playroom. Um, we're probably not gonna add in anything that I didn't just mention, we're not gonna add in at this point because I spent so many hours working on the floor plan. I'm not really like open to changing the floor plan, um, but we have a, um, a lot of stuff to work on so far. We talked about splash pad. The splash pad's not really gonna fit anymore, chocolate lover, because we we kind of fill everything up too much, you know. Um, but it's I think that what we've got is gonna be good. <laughs> we're in we're in like furnishing mode, not planning mode at this point, because we've spent so long preparing. <laughs> I did this stream. Um, was it on Tuesday or Monday? I don't remember. A few days ago, we did the the first half. I already posted it on YouTube too, in case you wanted to go back and watch it. Um, and I suppose I do owe you all a cat update from today uh, on the kittens. So let me show you all uh, today's best photos. <laughs> um, so if you missed it, I found a bunch of cats in a sewer. Um, I'm keeping two of them. They are about 13 weeks old now. <laughs> uh, and today's cat update is that um, this is not really like news. They've been doing this, but uh, the cats really like blankets. I posted these pictures on Twitter today. I literally have like a blanket fort built for my kittens in their room. You can see there's like a stack of pillows and I have the comforter laid over it because they, like they like to sit in blankets so much. They will climb underneath any blanket. So I have like a fort built for my cats. <laughs> They're like children. They like to play in little blanket forts. Um, so that's that's my uh, kitten update, <laughs> is their blanket fort. Uh, the other updates is that their mom, Frankie, and their brother, Sam, who live with my parents now, um, are doing very well. Frankie is getting spayed on Thursday, so uh, good luck to her and her surgery. <laughs> uh, but they've been doing really well at my parents' house, which is very exciting. They've been playing together a lot. I think that Frankie is, uh, to put it bluntly, thriving, having less children to be worried about. Now that she's kind of out of mom mode, um, life has been good for her. <laughs> she's been playing loads, like, she's, um, she's been doing a lot better, having no more, more like, three kittens pestering her, um, which is really good! <laughs> um, Frankie is just a baby herself, so, um, very exciting that she's been doing better. She can be a kitten again. She kind of missed out on her chance, because she obviously, um, had these babies in a sewer, so, um, it's been fun to watch her be thriving like that. And then the other update is that, um, so, trying to introduce my elderly cat to them is a process. Um, Snappy, we've been slowly, like, doing scent introductions and, like, feeding them on the other side of each other's door and, like, all this stuff. Well, we've been doing a little bit of space trading, where basically I move the kitties out and then I let Snappy go into their room to smell it. Um, she's done it a few times now, three, and the first time was, for me, a uh, horrifying experience <laughs> because I knew she was gonna be upset, but she was real mad. She was hissing at everything, up to the chair, hissing, food bowl, hissing, cat tree, hissing. She was mad, mad at this room. Well, today, earlier, we did a little switcheroo. She only hissed twice, and then she tried to eat their food. So that's honestly major improvement, major improvement. <laughs> um, that's big progress actually. <laughs> so um, she's she's doing better. You can't imagine Snap hissing. She doesn't really hiss, so yeah. But 
I don't know, she has these kittens in her house now. Oh my god, Entities, thank you for the 25 gifted subs! Thank you so much! <laughs> oh my goodness, that is so, so unbelievably generous. Um, and Brew with the 67 month resub, thank you, thank you. I, that's amazing, Entity, thank you. Um, but yeah, to answer all of your questions, no, Snap has not met them face to face yet. Uh, like I said, cat introductions is a slow process and I really want to make it as easy as possible, so... Uh, given, you know this. <laughs> she has seen them through the patio door, um, cause she'll be on like her little patio and then she can see them through the glass door, and she's scared of them. Cause, I mean, you know, look at how giant and terrifying this creature is. I know, right? <laughs> Big monster! So anyway, we- it's a slow process. I want to make them comfortable, but, um, I'm trembling. <laughs> I get it though, I mean, I brought in these cats from a sewer. And now there's like sewer rats in Snap's house. I'd be mad too. <laughs> um, well, Christine, so uh, with my parents and Lemon and Pogi, my parents' cats, and Frank and Sam, um, it's easier because uh, I think Lemon and Pogi have seen Frankie more because she used to live outside and like be around at my parents' house a fair amount outside because she was a stray and my sister was feeding her. Um, so, I think that they haven't met in person, it's a similar process to what me and Snap are doing with like the slow sniffing business. Um, there's more pets to be introduced there because my parents also have dogs, but um, slow process, make it easy. So yeah, Madeline, Snappy grew up with other cats. Um, Snap is my childhood cat, so she grew up with like my parents' two cats as well, um, and my parents' dogs, but she hasn't been around other cats in like five years because I live alone with her now, so. Um, she's used to <laughs> soul attention and having her own space. <laughs> uh, but she's she's been an only child for a while, so. Anyway, Art of Every Day, and Jess, and Luna, and Thee, and Star, and Smorley, thank you for the subs. Uh, we got Samantha, and Maddie, and Brianna, and Emily, and Carol, and Megs, and Stella, and Cool, and Blueberry, and Luz, and Mally, and Carol Ann, and Oh my god, Plum Bob, <laughs> Scandinavia, and Name, and, and Poodles, and Miss Hearts, and Jewel, and Care Bear, and Abby, thank you everybody. I really appreciate that. Okay, are we ready? So like I was saying with the cruise ship, what I wanted to do is try and figure out the exterior for real today. I wanna like really, you know, finish <laughs> the outside part so we can start working on the inside more. Is it on the gallery? Oh my God, no, Sage, it's not even close to being done. Look at it. <laughs> no, <laughs> it will be, but it's, it, we're like, Step one right now. We got probably uh, many hours left <laughs> before it's ready to be uploaded to the gallery. <laughs> this is a this is a, a bare bones shell of a building at the moment, so we're not quite there yet. Bear with me. Oh, Entities, thank you for the bits as well. Thank you so much. That is so generous of you. Yeah, it's it's quite crowded. It's um it's kind of cluttered inside. I should probably tone down on the furnishings here. It's looking a bit busy, isn't it? <laughs> Okay, anyway, I'm gonna start working on this. Hey, so thanks for 11 months, and Dork, and Snaily, and Rebecca, and Max, and Jupiter, and Mystic. Thank you all so much. All right, maybe choose a less patterned wallpaper. Oh yeah, yeah, you know, this wallpaper is real busy. <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> loving the maximalist vibes. I know, yeah, there is a bowling alley. The only rooms we furnish are the bowling alley and the theater. We're going for like real chaotic fun on this ship right now with the bowling alley and theater business. <laughs> if you want to talk about busy, actually, I know we're joking, but <laughs> the bowling alley is kind of fun, isn't it? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Let me show you guys some pictures of real life cruise ships so we can channel their energy, okay? Um, here is, here is some vibes. I was looking up some pictures of like, Obviously, in real life, the sort of docks that cruise ships go to are, like, ginormous things. Because, they, they, you know, it's a giant ship. Um, but this is The Sims 4, so... <laughs> but I was trying to figure out how I wanted, like, this part all to look. I don't know if I'm gonna pretend... This is the other thing, right? Like, should we bother with putting in, like, pretend... lines and stuff? Like, that's just what we're not 
so sure of, but anyway, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> that being funny, thank you for the subs too. Oh, we have to stare at some more reference photos. A lot of these ships are also very like plain and white. But then you look at like, um, let me think about like, you know the, um, the Queen Mary, okay? This is another old boat. But like this sort of thing, this is kind of more what it looks like right now because it has like the black on the base, but we could have the bottom part be black and then the top be white and that might look a little bit better. I don't know. Um, that's kind of my thought process. Ticket booth. Okay, so here, we talked about the ticket booth thing before too. We're gonna have like a reception in the front here. But so in real life, a lot of times on cruise ships in these like cruise ship ports, um, there'll be like a big giant building <laughs> separate and the building would be like all the way over here. And it's a whole second building and you go through security in there and you check all your, your passports and your tickets and all these things. Um, your COVID vaccines maybe all would be checked in there and then you would board the ship. It wouldn't be like just like a little counter outside or like even a small thing. So I don't know if I care too much about adding that in. We're, we're kind of balancing a little bit of realism with uh, what's functional for The Sims, you know? Um, because in The Sims, we don't really need all that. So that's why I have a very small little, you know, front desk, help desk thing. Um, and, and then we could focus more on like Sims realism. Maybe they do it all online, the tickets, and they don't mind, you don't have to check. <laughs> Sarif and Taylor and Becca and Jamie and Armadillo and Buffy and Skylar uh, and Teach, thank you all for the subs, thank you so much. Anyway, I'm gonna start just thinking about color schemes. I also wanted to figure out, so I'm kinda, I'm kinda struggling with how this part should look because I have these like little metal stairs. I want a lot of this to be kind of metal vibes. This like dock section that we have. Um, but I think I might even scoot this further back in the water. I don't know. Classic royal blue vibe. Yeah, maybe, but we have the black base and there's not really a royal blue foundation. So that's kind of hard. Um, we'll see what we can do. I feel like red gives cruise vibes, oh no. <laughs> the thing is, you're kind of right about that though. It kind of does give cruise vibes. So you're not wrong. I think this should be longer, this little walkway. I don't know. Much to experiment with, I suppose. Should it just end right here? Should the walkway just go like this? And then like, how wide should it be? This is all the kind of stuff I'm not sure about. Um, maybe if we got from get to work, I'm thinking metal, mostly on this section. Oh, calm down. So this will start. Blue Suburban on the water, oh my God. It kind of is Blue Suburban vibes though. Walkway should go past the stairs in your opinion. I mean, that's how I had it before. So we can put it back. I'm just kind of experimenting a little. Oh. Oh dear. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Kaylin, Ultra Teach, thank you for the subs. Uh-oh. Yikes. Um. Get to work. I want to use this. I also was looking up, I was kind of trying to think of ideas of things that might help to make this part look cooler. And I saw, and I thought it was kind of interesting, the idea that maybe there could be, and I know everybody gets really excited about this, so let's not get our hopes too set on it, okay? As soon as you put glass floors in something, everybody loses their minds. But I saw um, some some things like this and I thought it was kind of cool. The problem is I want it to be, the pillars are kind of annoyingly placed though, which is bothersome. But the internet really, really likes glass floors. 
<laughs> you show somebody on my Twitch stream a glass floor, they like almost start crying because they get so excited. So you gotta be careful. <laughs> you try and delete it, they get mad. Like, <laughs> as soon as you place it, you need to be prepared to have it forever. I don't know. I don't know. It might be interesting, but I'm not sure. It is exciting, I'm only human. <laughs> it, is, it is exciting, it is exciting. Um, so this would be probably like, I don't know how big it would be. What about having the entire Disney castle in the basement? Oh, there you go. <laughs> you know what's actually sad is we can't have a basement because it's on these lots uh, in Sulani, you can't have basements. They like physically don't work. Um, obviously there's, there's water there, so you can't build a basement on this. I think the dock should be wood. Yeah, so a lot of real cruise ship docks, Davis, are like uh, like concrete, because um, the boat is so big. I wouldn't be surprised if it was like metal too, to be honest with you, because that kind of thing I feel like isn't that unrealistic. I know that you might not like the vibes of that, but we gotta keep in mind that we're boarding like a, a boat. <laughs> I don't know if I like the glass. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Is there gonna be rooms in this boat? Yeah, it's like a hotel, Liz. We already did the floor plan. I can show you later. If you bear with me, I'm sorry. I've done the, a tour of this build like five times in the last 20 minutes. <laughs> so uh, I'll show you in a bit, but I wanna give people a chance to actually build <laughs> before we do a tour again, okay? Oh, dude, and Hyena, and Caroline, and Miggle, thank you for the subs. Um, I'm sure you understand where I'm coming from with that one, but ooh. Oh my goodness, you know what? That's kind of good vibes. That looks kind of like a real life one. I can see that. Right? Oh, interesting. Okay. I like that. Build lag is making it save you. I know it's lagging a lot. I've been making myself nervous about that one. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what I'll put up here. All the options are not good. I don't know. <laughs> Danny, thanks for the sub gift to Hitch. Thank you so much. All right, big build problems. Yeah, seriously, this is gonna be a big building. So we're probably gonna encounter a lot of stuff like that. Okay, so I was thinking, and we kind of kind of mentioned this earlier, the possibility of this, but we were discussing painting the base of it black. Kind of to match the, not that color black though, but something, this is like a tile. And I don't know if I like this or not, but we, we talked about the thought of painting this whole thing black just cause it matches the main base. What pack are the windows from? Oh, these round ones are from, uh, believe it or not, the wedding pack. <laughs> they have mostly, the swatches are very like uh, stained glassy. See that? These are like plain porthole sort of vibe ones. <laughs> um, okay. Not as boaty, but in your opinion, cool. What, the black? I was looking at real life pictures when I picked the color, <laughs> but I don't know. Wood boat? Oh my God, it's probably not gonna be wooded. I don't think I like the black. I think it needs to be white. I think it needs to be white. I don't really wanna paint the whole thing white, but I feel like it maybe needs to be white. What about red? Do you think the red would be, I hate red. People were talking about this earlier. I hate, I hate this. Like legitimately, I hate this. Like with, with all of my heart, this Mickey Mouse nightmare is ugly to me. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Dark blue. Okay, bearing in mind though, guys, we were talking about this before too, with the blue, because we have the black base um, and the other colors don't look as good. 
And does the blue look weird with the black? I don't know. I don't know. We've talked about so many different options. And now watch, they're all gonna be like, blue suburban, blue suburban. <laughs> Ray, MC, the Luna, Isabella, Planet, thank you for the subs. I don't know. Most of it is gonna be white though. Cause that's kind of realistic. That happens in real life on these sorts of things. I think I like the blue. I like the blue a lot better than I like the red. I was really trying to avoid, everybody suggesting red earlier too. They were like, I know you don't like red, but what if you did red? And in my head I was like, I don't know. <laughs> it's not a blue suburban, it's a blue sea bourbon. A blue submarine, if you will. The blue is too Titanic-y, oh you think? Well, what's wrong with the Titanic? <laughs> what's the problem with the Titanic? I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> it's a lovely ship. <laughs> um, anyway. What? Um, I think that's cool, right? Okay, so this part, this part is a strange one. This is meant to be like the, the tower part on the ship. You know, the, um, is it like a, what do you call it, a smokestack or something? What's the, what's it called? I don't know about ships, okay? <laughs> I don't know. Chimney thing, funnel, funnel, funnel. There we go. Can I make it taller? Do you think I can make this bigger and then raise the platform up even more? How tall should it be? And what should we put? Like, that's got a trim to it, so it might be better. A darker red. Oh, so it, this is a platform. So like the red options are kind of limited. So we, we probably can't pull that off, unfortunately. <laughs> I wish we could, but again, options kind of limited because it is a platform. Um, should we do something with these? This is like completely pretend. I don't have a clue what I'm doing. We're like giving the boat, you put a half all around it. Um, I don't really think so because <laughs> it's curved. Um, you can't really do that. Should be about 50% taller. Okay, so Jules, again, I'm gonna remind you guys, the, this, this is the absolute highest it can be and it can't be raised up on a taller floor or anything because that's the, the like top of the building. Um, there's a there's like a max height in the sims and this is a tall wall height on the top floor So that's kind of the best that we can do um, Yeah, we got to keep in mind that we're stuck within like What the sims 4 has Isn't there like maybe it's from um, Strangerville hold on I'm looking at like Strangerville, Strangerville, Strangerville. Well, I went past it. I might have to go and debug for this, but surely Strangerville has, isn't there like a, I don't know, satellite thing that could be used? Zoe, Macklin, Paige, thank you for the, for the resubs. I was gonna say thanks for the live edits. <laughs> Cause I was trying to type live edit objects and oh my God, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Okay, <laughs> thank you for the for the live edits. <laughs> Much appreciated. Oh no. All right, <laughs> rat baby, thanks for the thirteen months. Maybe they don't have what I'm picturing. Non-functional air conditioner. I like how they specify that it doesn't work. There we go. Not a satellite dish. Okay, we can use some of those. Mm. 
What on earth? <laughs> um. Hmm. Is this for a video? Well, I mean, it's for fun, but I'll, I'll probably also make a video out of it. So, yes. <laughs> yes. Um. I don't know. I want to get, like... It's so hard to decide what to add in. I'm like trying to look at pictures of real life cruise ships too as I'm sat here doing this and thinking about like what they have so that we can figure out what might be a fun idea to try and add in. Spa? Well, we already have a spa. Right now, we're thinking less about layout and more about um, random ship-related vibes. Because <laughs> we, we do already have a spa and like hot tubs and a pool and a bar. Anything that you can think of that might be in this fancy ship, we have already. We just haven't furnished it. Um, we did spend hours in the layout, though, so don't worry. We did, we did consider that. Look at this, this is absurd. Too much. Too, too, too much. How about this one? There's like giant balls back there. Hmm. Okay. Uh, aren't they, do they count as like a fountain? <laughs> do you think if I took those little, um, the ones from, to be honest with you guys, I haven't, I actually haven't got a clue what I'm doing right now. Mm hmm see? They got stuff like that. Solar panels? Oh, solar panels might be an idea. You like the target balls, okay. <laughs> well, there you go. At least somebody likes them. That's gotta count for something, right? <laughs> Honestly, some solar panels on the top of the ship might be kind of a fun choice. And maybe I can get us a whole bunch of little satellite things. That looks so weird. <laughs> I don't know! This is really difficult! Now Mickey has ears. Don't call it Mickey! Don't! You know- Guys! Guys! You know I'm scared of Mickey Mouse. It's not funny. <laughs> you can't bring up Mickey Mouse! You know he scares me! Um, okay, let me paint the, I didn't paint this top floor apparently. So that's one thing that we can think about. Oh, I also apparently did not get, oh, well, that's a problem. Okay, I have to think about that too. I don't understand why you guys are acting like being scared of Mickey Mouse is abnormal. Have you seen him? Have you heard him? You're acting like I'm the weird one. Mickey Mouse is the weird one. Duh. <laughs> Pages, thank you, Lindsay, you're 259 months, and Nicole, and Maya, and Ricardo, and Bronze, thank you so much. Mickey Mouse is terrifying.
Um, maybe if there was just... Okay, what if I size this down? So it stands out a little bit less. You're just a weenie? Okay. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, okay, so... This being a platform is... It, it is relatively inconvenient, I gotta say. Um, that is gonna kinda... throw us off a little bit here. That's okay, we'll make it work, but... It, it is gonna complicate things. Flagpole! Oh god, that's what I was thinking about. I was trying to remember, I had an idea for the back, and then I like, lost my train of thought. I don't know about that. But I was thinking, isn't there like a flag, um, item? It's like from... It's a wall flag. I think it's from maybe Cottage Living or something? University? I'm not sure. Not golf. But I think it might be cute to put in the back. This. I was picturing something like that. Hmm. Thoughts? Sized up? I don't think that it would be sized up. Oh wait, okay, it doesn't size up anyway. <laughs> but I don't think it would be much bigger than that. I think that's kind of a normal size for it. I, I feel like, I don't know, I think bigger than that is, is not realistic. This is kind of normal. Um, okay, Alicia, thank you for the resub too. It would be nice if we could get some more of like that color. That sort of... Oh my god, wait a minute. That sort of yellowy color that matches these. That might be the way. Do I think I'll finish it today? No! <laughs> People keep asking me that. They were asking me that the other day when I first started it. It took me like three and a half hours to figure out the floor plan, friends. This is not... It's... It's physically impossible for this to be a one day sort of build or a two day build even it's gonna this is gonna be a big ordeal i mean look look not done we patience it's gonna take us a while <laughs> can you raise up kayaks under the balconies like lifeboats okay so we did talk about the lifeboat situation a little bit um there was a small bit of discussion about the possibility for that and instead of kayaks, I was more thinking about something along these lines. And I, I think the general uh, conclusion was that we weren't sure that we liked how it looked um, with the lifeboats, or like we thought it was maybe not necessary or a little bit unrealistic to try and add in. And I don't know if you can see that, but like where you have to put it is kind of difficult to achieve. Um, but I just, I feel like it's not really like what we can do doesn't, I feel like it doesn't fit. So, I don't, I don't think we need it. We, we kind of talked about that the other day when we first started the build though, as we were figuring out the floor plan. Cats and dogs fishing boat. I don't know, again you guys, the point still stands. This is a, it is a permanently docked boat. <laughs> we're kind of pretending that it's a cruise ship um, and stuff, but there is the bonus of it being a permanently docked boat. So it doesn't really matter that much, like we can, we can kind of um, give ourselves a bit of a break here <laughs> as we're thinking about it. Um, it's not even floating, yeah? <laughs> it's not like it has to sink or anything. It is kind of Titanic inspired, but it's not the Titanic, you know? <laughs> when you put it like that, it sounds really bad. Okay. Um, I'm thinking that it might be kind of nice to get a couple little bits of small windows in a handful of places. 
around this building. Like a couple of these little windows kind of helps. Did we do the inside? Well, Bailey, we did the floor plan. It's not done though. The inside has a long ways to go. It's a very large build. <laughs> this is gonna take us a while, so. Bear with us. I do think that those little windows help. I also think that we could probably put maybe a couple over here. What was the inspo for this? The Sims 3 was the inspo for this, to be honest. Um, I was, I did a video on why I want hotels in The Sims 4 a few days ago. And I was thinking a lot about like, uh, what kind of stuff that would entail and like, why I want hotels in The Sims 4 and all this stuff. Um, and in doing so, I was thinking a lot about The Sims 3 and what I loved the most about The Sims 3 and all that sort of thing. And I really reminded myself just how fun Island Paradise was in The Sims 3. And there were these houseboats in that pack. So I was thinking about houseboats and hotels and then I was like, what if I make a, a hotel boat? And here we are. <laughs> Here we are. So anyway, that's that was the inspiration behind it. Basically. Um, is that? Yeah, I can't get this in the right place. I guess the kids room doesn't need to have windows. Right, do you think it's okay if the kids room has no windows? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. You wanna go on a Disney cruise? It seemed like so much fun. Why you gotta bring Mickey Mouse into this again? Everybody's always talking about Mickey Mouse. Scary guy. Yeah, we can do murals in the kids' room for sure. There's so many walls though. Like I was planning on doing murals, but I don't know if uh, we could do murals and a window. It's just like the window's not really gonna... It's not really gonna work. I wonder if these lights might be fun for the... <laughs> for the uh, bedrooms. We need to think about lights to put... in the cruise area. So little Mickey Mouse hater Simsy, where did you go to celebrate your mom's birthday yesterday? I went to Disney World yesterday. You guys really don't understand what I'm trying to say. Mickey Mouse is the problem. Mickey Mouse, the mouse specifically is the problem. The theme park is not a problem. It's, it's like the mouse costume. The mouse meet and greets. <laughs> it's, it's the, it's the mouse. The mouse is what I can't handle. <laughs> He's creepy. <laughs> Mickey Mouse is, is the major issue here. Okay, I think I wanna get a couple of these little guys to go underneath the balconies. We need some supports. The costume room backstage is terrifying, you won't lie. Oh my God, I bet. Where they store all those things, I, oh my God. I can imagine that place is horrible. Like, let's just think for a second about how creepy it probably is where they store all the Mickey Mouse costumes. Could you imagine? Oh, this is really bad actually. Um, we have less supports on this side. There are no costumes. Oh, oh yeah, sorry. Mickey Mouse is a, is a real man. I was talking about like the, the cast members costumes. You know, like the, the ones who work at, you know, like the restaurants and stuff. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, are those windows too high up? I can't tell. Yes. Scoot them a little bit lower. And then I need to get... 
probably a handful on this side too. And then some more up over this way. Okay, the boat vibes, it's working. It's working, I'm scared. <laughs> This is harder than I thought it would be. Uh, no, I knew it was going to be hard. I, I don't know what I'm saying. I came into this thinking it was going to be a disaster. Maybe it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Either way, it's a lot. All right. I think a little bit of wood paneling is good for some vibes. I don't want to put too much pattern in. I don't think. Am I mulling after Disney Cruise specifically? No, no, it's not after any certain ship, Kate. It's This is just a generic cruise building. It's not modeled after anything specific. Hot tub still functional? Yeah. You come in them on this side. Hey, Miv! I'm building a boat! It's actually really hard. <laughs> it's been a lot. It's kind of it's kind of stressing me out. <laughs> but, but welcome in. I hope you had a good stream. Oh no. Okay, there we go. There we go. I can see it. Make the foundation that sandy color, like the yellow color. We really, really liked the black Owen. This was kind of like a major breakthrough moment when we found the black swatch. Um, the problem about that is like texture wise, this is good. A lot of the other ones, I mean, there is like this color, but that's not, you know what I mean? The black was kind of, like I said, a, a big break, like breakthrough when we found it because the other ones weren't looking that good, so. What do you guys think about, like, this part? I don't really know what to put. I'm trying to think of things that we can put up here. And I don't know how to... Oh, we also need to get... I think that it would help us if we painted or picked floor tiles. So I was picturing, originally, like, this color around the pool deck. I don't know about you, but that's kind of my, that was kind of my first thought. Okay, it has to be horizontal because of the weird round parts, but... That was my initial vision. And that kind of brings in that yellowy color a little bit more again. So, might be a nice touch. I don't know if we should do a different texture down here by the pool or not. Because <laughs> we could pick something kind of fun if we really wanted to. I don't know. Should there be the wood? on the balcony parts as well. I don't know. If I saved recently? No, I haven't saved a single time today. <laughs> oh my God, trying to get it to match the round pieces is so annoying. Oh, let's do that. <laughs> so for Nay, Amy, Sophia, Miss Fish, I'm already Pixie, thank you for the subs. Okay, um, probably some up front too, on that bit of the deck. Okay, we have to get more, I might do a different, honestly like the interior could probably have a lot of, and you might not like this, <laughs> but the interior could probably have a lot of, um, ooh, what are you doing? Carpet, I was gonna say. Sometimes you find carpet in real life on places like this. All right, did I miss your resub? I didn't think I did, Q, but if I did, I'm so sorry. Thank you for the resub. I, I'm really very overwhelmed right now, so it's very, very possible that I somehow didn't read some things. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, okay. 
I used to have columns here and then I got rid of them so I can put them back. Cruises love carpet. Oh yeah. Carpet in the bedrooms even, I think is probably pretty realistic. So <laughs> a lot of commercial places have carpet. People always say like carpet. Oh my God. When I say that, but like, I don't know. A lot of, a lot of commercial places have carpet. I don't think that's that abnormal. Um, what is that? Oh, that's kind of, that looks kind of like a boat. <laughs> Do you see that? It's like a, up close, it's kind of rubbery. Yeah, Maurice and Soph and Renee, thank you for the subs. Not abnormal, it's unfortunate, it makes it hard to clean. I think that they probably do it because it's easy to clean and easy to replace. Uh, I bet it's cheap for them to replace in case of emergency. And I, I bet that they have a, a good reason for it. Otherwise, so many hotels wouldn't use it, you know? It's like so, so, so commonly used. Because they, pr they probably replace it all the time, I would bet. And it's sometimes like patterned, big patterns, so they can hide stains more easily and stuff. Um, but yeah, if it was, if it was like actually really hard for them to clean, they wouldn't use it so often, but like so many places have it, you know? You think black trim on the roof might look better so you can't see the difference with the round piece? Maybe. I don't know. I doesn't, the trim on the roof doesn't bother me that much. That isn't like the part that's sticking out to me as being bad. But... I don't know. Hardwood floors can cause slips. Oh yeah, that's true actually. I didn't really think about that. Um, I don't know, interesting. Tinker and Maurice and Soph and Girl, thank you for the stuff, everybody. Okay, reduces noise. Yeah, that definitely helps as well. All right, let me see if I can seal this same I had the trim here, but it's disappeared on its own, which is kind of annoying. Can you put trim on the bottom of a pool? I don't know if it lets you. Hmm. Hmm. In my most recent video, there is a weird minute long black screen. When? Oh my God. <laughs> This is what happens when you have to same day upload. Where, where in the video? Around the 17 minute mark. Oh, perfect. Excellent. Super cool. Okay. <laughs> um, I wonder if I could cut it out on YouTube. Obviously I can't do it right now because <laughs> I'm streaming. <laughs> um, that's okay. Anyway, yeah, I don't usually, when I, after I upload my video for the day, I eat lunch and then I go live immediately. So sometimes I don't see these things until while I'm live. So that's just because Dan probably didn't cut the, like delete the blank space in between the two cuts. It's not a big deal. It really is like such a non-issue. <laughs> There's no need to, to panic, okay? It's like such a small, small non-issue, okay? <laughs> I'll be able to fix it on YouTube. I'm sure there's a million comments about it, but I don't read the comments until after I uh, get off stream each day because I stream right after I, uh, right, right after I post, so I didn't see yet. Anyway, now I feel really anxious. <laughs> this kind of thing always makes me want to cry, <laughs> and it always happens when I'm live is when I find out because, again, I stream right after I post it, so anyway. Um, it's not a big deal. <laughs> it's okay. Starlight, thank you for the 413 sub. Thank you so much. Um, and Amorio, I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm glad that we could be here for you. And Salad and Danielle and Tinker and Maurice, thank you so much. Oh my God. I'm sure Dan's chat will even spammed about this too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Everyone like bullies him over it, which is really bad. <laughs> anyway, anyway. What more can we add to this? I was thinking, I got so distracted. I was thinking um, about ways that I can try and put something around this when when this all happened. Um, so now we have to go back <laughs> and, and undistract myself and try and put something back. Um, uh, okay. 
There we go. Restaurant area yet? Yeah, Crystal, we have all the areas already laid out. <laughs> the restaurant's gonna be in this area and out on this balcony. We spent hours thinking about the floor plan the other day, so all this stuff is all figured out. Um, okay. Okay. I don't know. What do you, like... This is makes it so difficult. I don't know how to fix round things. There's a reason, there is a reason that round is, is bad. <laughs> oh my god. Do you have any idea for items? I'm not gonna do plants. I think plants don't make sense on this ship. But, I don't really know what else. Um, one sec. Um, Dan is going to try and fix it. All is well. I wonder if I could try and use this. Pipes and lifesavers. We tried pipes. It's hard to find stuff that doesn't look bad is the problem. I wonder if I can wrap this around it. What is that object? Um, HVAC thing? I don't know. <laughs> Look at a real one. Yeah, we've been looking at real life cruise ships. Um, one second. I'm gonna see about putting this all the way around. How to do the free rotate? Oh, free rotate, uh, you can do it by holding alt. You might have to make sure that your, your game is in the Sims 3 camera mode though, for it to work. Um, speakers? Yeah, well, speakers would probably go down lower, right? Like, in the bar area, and not so much on the roof. I'm trying to think about the sort of stuff on the roof that might be, like, like this stuff. Like, these pipes and things like that, that might be, like, ship-related. <laughs> I think that seems okay, I don't know. I was gonna do those before. Size up a giant circle object? No, so when you try and do stuff like that, because this is a platform, if you try and put stuff in it, it goes to the bottom floor. But, I don't know. A flag? We have a flag in the back already, on the back wall. So, I don't know. Two smaller would be more realistic, you think? What, of this? <laughs> you guys don't understand how much effort is going into this. It can't be made smaller is the problem. This is like the smallest of a room it can become. Um, I suppose it could be scooted over. I don't know if it can be, but it's not really, this is no easy task. Invalid diagonal intersection. Is there a satellite dish or something? We have satellite dishes over here. So we do have one of those. I mean, I hadn't really thought about, I think they're too wide to do them necessarily, like, two of them next to each other. That's why I had done the, oh my god, I ruined everything. That's why I had done the one big one, but why not use round walls? Well, so we're doing a round platform <laughs> uh, because we can't put walls up here. <laughs> You guys don't understand how bad this is. This is a dire situation, okay? Um, this is on the top, top, top floor of this building, and you can't build walls up here because it's too high up. You can't build walls above the fourth floor. Does that make sense? So it's uh, physically impossible. <laughs> um, anyway. If you enlarge the silver things, what, like a giant one for this? I don't really want to. I think I'd rather have small ones. And I don't want to do one or like a couple. They're too skinny to serve this purpose. Um, I don't know. What about half walls? Well, you can't do round half walls, so we can't do that. 
Trust me, you guys, we already tried. I, I, I totally appreciate and, and, uh, and enjoy your suggestions for this. But if you remember, I streamed this for like three and a half hours the other day. And most of that time was spent on figuring out stuff like this. So like for me, the ship has sailed on, on the shape. <laughs> I'm, I'm really set on the shape. I'm not really interested in changing it. Um, we're, we're more trying to find ways to help blend it in as opposed to like changing it completely, okay? Um, one second, I'm... Uh, it sounds like it's a bad thing, but it's not. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's about the thing I was helping down with something. Um, but anyway, this is what... I was, this is gonna take me so long to figure out. I don't even know if it's worth it or not. Am I gonna plan this at all on YouTube for anything? Well, I wasn't really, I don't know. I don't have any specific plans yet. I'm more worried about finishing it first, Madeline. Um, okay. Um, almost done. What cruise is your inspo? We don't have a specific cruise in mind. We're kind of just building generic ship. The problem is a lot of like the real life cruise ships, they're obviously significantly bigger than this. Um, so it's hard to use a, a specific one as inspiration when they're all like a million times the size. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so I don't have a, a certain ship in mind. I was kind of just building generic ship. Okay, there's, that's like, but I'm gonna ignore it, okay? Um, all right. I feel, honestly, I feel good about this. I think that you get, I think that you can tell what I'm going for, right? Okay. <laughs> no fallopian tubes, no problem. Nike, it hit my peak at seven. And Liz and Marissa, thank you for the subs too. All right. Um, let's start thinking about the outside parts then. Oh, this is too close to the water. Oops. Oops. Should we have like a pathway or like a I don't know should there be like a fake deck um, oh <laughs> you can't okay 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 I feel really anxious about this build this one's like I think I'm just overwhelmed because it's so um I don't know, it's so large. Um, maybe I can get some palm trees. Island living, perhaps? We could do some small ones. I really like the little palm trees. Oh, well, I don't know if I wanna have too many palm trees like blocking the view of the ship. I don't know. You think it's fun, Christine? Oh yeah, I really like this build. I like the concept of it. I think I'm just overwhelmed by how much left there is to do and like how, um, I don't know, how complicated <laughs> it all is. It's a 50 by 50 lot, Leo, not 64 by 64. There isn't a 64 by 64 lot in this world. So it's only 50 by 50. Um, Am I furnishing the interior today? Well, well, we'll see what we can get to, Mama. Obviously, I, um, I'm i working on the whole build today, but um, it's all very big. <laughs> and we're, we're thinking about the outside for the first time right now, so. Um, oh my God. This is kind of random and not really boat vibes or like cruise ship vibes necessarily, but might be an idea for something. 
to add. I don't know. Maybe I'll put it over here. Okay. Like right there. Island Living has a life ring thing too. This is obviously a pool item, but I'm trying to think of just long stuff that we could put here. Maybe they used to clean up trash in the water, okay? <laughs> I understand it's a pool item. I know. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of other things that we can add, okay? Because otherwise this place is going to be very empty. Um, maybe I could try and put like... I don't know. Maybe some bins. Yeah, some trash cans and some light posts will add in stuff like that too. Um, okay. Okay. Um. This is very strange. I think I like that. Maybe I will get rid of this so you all stop yelling about it being for a pool. <laughs> Cosmo, boss, thank you for the subs, both of you. Um, crates or barrels? I don't know. I was thinking about putting some benches along the back side of this. I was also thinking about, and this might be a little excessive, okay, but I was thinking about getting, this is an extra large light, <laughs> but I was thinking about getting a couple lights in here um, to sort of have on the dock section. Oh, these are the, these are debug ones though, so they don't really even light up, but most of the big ones are kind of... You know what I mean? Like, that's not really what I'm going for. I guess it could be. But I feel like this looks kind of realistic. You like the round ones? Oh, really? I like these better. This looks more industrial to me, and a lot of cruise ships are, like, a lot of cruise ship um, docks are kind of industrial in that way. They're like big, solid blocks of concrete a lot of the time. So, I don't really want to do, like, a lantern. That's not really the vibes. <laughs> Um, I'm thinking that maybe I could put, I don't know, maybe something like this. all down the side, just some benches lining it. Hmm. Need signs and luggage. I don't think I wanna put luggage out here. I, I know that that might be realistic, but I don't know. Um, I don't think I wanna put luggage out in the middle of this like that. Um, I'm gonna try and think of other ways that we could. It would be more sensical in the, make more sense in the rooms, I guess. But then like, I don't, I've, I've been struggling with this in the other hotel build that I did a few days ago too. Um, that was like a ski lodge. And I struggle with putting the luggage in there because I don't really want there to be like, I, I want it to be easy for you to have your Sims come stay there and it seem like it's your room. You know, um, but anyway, I'm just struggling with it. Can we do lifeboats? We talked about it. They looked really weird, Lorna. <laughs> we talked about it today and last time and both times, um, 
it looked really weird, so. Eh. And the parking lot stuff, um, the parking lot stuff is not really gonna be the vibes of this area, because <laughs> of, like, look at where it is, you know, parking lot doesn't make sense. They usually board on higher floors. Well, okay, so here's the thing, Valerie. <laughs> I, guys, I totally understand and greatly appreciate all of your criticisms and concerns. The thing is, at this point, it's been like five hours on this build, um, and I've already spent hours on the floor plan, so I'm probably not gonna change the floor plan now. And bearing in mind, in real life, um, there would be floors below this, okay? We can't do that in The Sims because you can't build basements and a lot that's in the ocean. Um, it's not, it doesn't work, it won't let you. Uh, but you can pretend that like the crew has decks below this that they can access. Does that make sense? Um, but anyway, <laughs> bear with me, okay? <laughs> There's like a million suggestions and every time it's like a thing that we already tried and that didn't work, but you maybe didn't see because you weren't here. So just bear with us. Um, all, all good ideas, but um, we've put so many hours into this already. It's, it's hard to um, make adjustments at this point on parts that I've already spent hours on. <laughs> that I like, so I'm just being nice about it. Basically, I, I like how it is, so I'm not gonna change that part. <laughs> All right, I think a little, um, no, I have the, the door part is so weird to me. Um, one second. I think, um, I use these lights a lot, but the door part, the reason it's so weird to me is because I'm trying to have this be like a real port thing, but then also I want it to be a nice entrance. So I'm just kind of, I don't know. I don't know. Dine out maybe? That might be good. Hmm. Where are Kitty and Fina and Sam and Sophie? Thank you for the subs. All right. I gotta figure out what to do in this section too. We can't do flooring because you can't put floors on the beach. So that kind of throws us off a little bit as well. Check in Sam would be cute. Yeah, so we talked about that too. Um, this is going to end up being like a front desk, help desk sort of area. We weren't going to do a check-in thing out here. Um, it wasn't really the vibes that I was going for, so. Um, terrain paint tile, maybe? That's kind of what I was thinking, Christine. I don't know. Mm, Joanne, thank you for the subs also. Because, like, where does it start and stop, you know? Like... <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> um, place picnic tables on the sand. That could be cute. I might like something like that. I wonder if we could put a fence where the concrete stuff will go. What about a small parking lot? Well, so that's the other thing. We kind of talked about this too. I'm sorry to keep repeating myself, you guys. People just suggest things and they didn't hear us earlier, but um, the parking lot thing, I just think is weird on this lot. Cause like, we're, you know, with the beach being right here, like is a parking lot a really strange thing to add in when it's physically on the beach? I don't know. Um, it might be realistic, but I, I just feel like cause it's on the sand, like, Eh. It's hard to, hard to figure out what's best. Moonland and Joanne, thank you for the subs. And it's on an island, like, I don't know. Cars in The Sims just don't really, they just don't really mesh, do they? <laughs> There's like no ro roads in Sulani, all that sort of thing. Um, we did talk about some little picnic tables, which I still like the idea of. We can put them over here, kind of by the water. Park on the beach to get to the cruise, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of weird when you think about it like that, isn't it? Um... 
Talia, thank you for the two month resub. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe we can try this. I was thinking about this. If we just have it go right up to where the thing starts, that might be okay. And we'll line it with some lights. I don't know, we'll figure it out. You agree with adding graves? Oh! <laughs> oh, well that's an idea. That's an idea. How is it going with the giveaway? <laughs> Alice, that's a very kind and polite way of asking me to do the giveaway. I'm not gonna do it yet. Bear with me, okay? We, I'm gonna wait till about halfway through the stream to start the first one. Um, give people more of a chance to come in. Okay, island living. I think some little bits of plants might be okay to help like blend it up blend it in what am i saying blend it in i don't know i guess i could probably also have the terrain paint go all the way to the end island living has some really good landscaping which is going to help us i hate this i wish that it wasn't like just on the edge of the lot <laughs> Uh. Um. Should we do that? I think another palm tree would be good. Put plants and stuff growing on the deck thing. Daisy, that's not really the vibe that I was going for with it. I was, the deck thing to me is supposed to be like metal kind of industrial, like I, you got a picture that in real life, uh, most of the time, cruise ships dock in, like, like proper ports <laughs> where, like, shipping happens and stuff sometimes um, because they're, it's the only places that have space for, the like, a big enough ship to dock there. Um, so, like, I don't really want to put plants on this because it's kind of like concrete, you know? Um, does that make sense, though? Okay. I don't know about this. Is that fine, maybe? Barbecue and fairy lights and bonfires. I wasn't gonna put that many things out here, Brie. I, I wasn't really planning on putting a lot of, uh, like, stuff on the beach. I was kind of picturing this being a little bit more subtle and the main bulk of the lot is going to be on the ship. At least that's what I was imagining. I don't really want there to be a wedding set up out here sparkly either with the background being like a metal dock. I don't know. <laughs> we have a lot of stuff to fill in inside and that's kind of my bigger priority. Um, what's the lot type? Right now, it's a bar, but it's gonna function as a spa, too. And that's what I was picturing, at least. And then you would just- we're gonna pretend it's a hotel, and then your sims could come here, and they could stay the night and just not leave. Um, yeah, you're right. The more that we put on the actual beach, the more sims are gonna come outside. And I don't really want sims to be outside. I want them to be on the ship when they're here, so. Jess, thank you for the gifted subs! And Becky and Ryan, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um, maybe we could do a little sign, like, in there somehow, with the name of the boat. It's a 50 by 50 lot, is what it is. Okay. Rotate, size raise up so no food stalls no 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 not off the ship for sure not off the ship we want you to eat on the ship you know <laughs> the goal is for the sims to be spending their time on the boat not off the boat okay cool check in or out kiosk we're not gonna put that 
outside, Daisy. We've been talking about having like a lobby area in here. It's not gonna be a blue staircase either, by the way. That's just placed there, but. Do I think they're gonna announce hotels or fairies in the behind the Sims thing? Okay, let's talk about that for a second. Uh, there is absolutely not a reason at all to believe that hotels are coming to the Sims 4, okay? That's just a thing that I want. There's, there is literally not a single reason to believe there's gonna be a hotel pack, okay? That's just me saying I want this. You know what else I want? Cruise ships. Um, like I could list a million things, you know, like there's no, there's no reason to believe there's any actual announcement happening. Okay. So let's not get our hopes up about a giant pack announcement situation like that. And this behind the Sims stream on Tuesday, it's probably going to be a very subtle thing. Like very subtle thing. Okay. <laughs> you just got the discord notification. Oh my goodness. It's been an hour and a half. Oh, discord, please. Have you missed pack news? No, there's no pack news. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> there's no reason to believe there's any pack news. Let's talk about it. Here we go. Hold on. Let me twitter.com forward slash the sims. There's no reason at all whatsoever to, be, to believe that there could be pack news. You're going to think that I'm lying by saying that. I'm not lying. People just, I say no and they're like, she means yes secretly. This is the tweet. Um, it's time for another episode of Behind the Sims. Tune in on September 12th at 9 a.m. Pacific time to share exciting updates across the Sims universe. So what does that mean? They're gonna talk about Sims Mobile. They're gonna talk about Sims Free Play. They might mention a couple things to the Sims 4. They're probably gonna be like, oh, here's what this Simlish word means in English. It's gonna be like, uh, little things like that, okay? Um, I, I don't think it's a good idea for us all to sit here and be like, there's gonna be a pack. <laughs> Because there's no reason to think that. There's no reason to think that. Maybe some update news, maybe some Project Renee stuff, but small things, small things. And like, was probably gonna be like a 20 minute YouTube video, kind of like the last one was, okay? Um, and they, they very well could announce packs, or not packs, plural, maybe one. Um, but they also very well might not. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is, it's, it's in everyone's best interest to not get their hopes up so extremely high because then when it ends up being a small thing, no one's sad, you know? Does that make sense? <laughs> okay. It's only 15 minutes, does the YouTube, okay. So on YouTube it says it's only 15 minutes long. Something important to keep in mind. Um, okay. Um, Anyway, are we on the same page now? <laughs> I don't wanna, I don't mean to like crush your dreams and shut you all down. I just, um, I, I think it's important to keep our expectations reasonable with things like this. Um, Cause it stresses me out so much to see people like mad online about stuff like that when, um, you know, it was predictable that nothing was gonna happen, <laughs> you know? Uh, Duplin and Kate and Doctor and Pudge, thank you for the subs. Yeah, a new pack would be cool, obviously, but it's just, um, we just got an expansion pack. We just got a couple kits. The roadmap covers until the end of September. Um, so there's really not any reason to believe anything big is gonna get announced. There, again, very well could be. I just don't expect there to be, so. Okay, I honestly think that the outside of this could be done. I'm not uploading it. I just wanna see what the gallery picture looks like. <sighs> this stupid tree is in a very annoying place. Anyway, <laughs> oh, so let's think about the inside now, shall we? I might start with the upstairs because the pool deck excites me the most, I, I think. So maybe I'll start there. Hmm. Wouldn't be annoyed about new Project Renee stuff either. Yeah, I would love to see more Project Renee stuff. The things that they would show are probably gonna be such big picture, like generic things though, because <laughs> it's so early. So again, it's just important to keep our expectations like to the to a minimum. Talking about the other life sim, Paralives. Uh, maybe you're talking about Paralives. I don't know. Paralives is still in development. Um, there's another life sim that's being made. Um, there's, a, there's a handful of things in the works. There's another one called Life by You. I gotta be honest with you guys. In my humble opinion, Life by You looks 
really ugly. <laughs> it's making it hard for me to feel excited about it because I really, really think that it looks ugly. Um, maybe it'll change by the time it actually comes out. It's still early days, but ooh. It's visually really not my vibes. Um, I don't know. So we can hope that, that things will be different by the time it comes out, but I, I don't know. Looks like House Flipper and The Sims. Yeah, it looks like The Sims 3 a little bit too. <laughs> I don't understand this. I was talking to some of my friends about this earlier. We were kind of joking about like, why is it that so many of these new life sim games that are coming out, literally it looks like the graphics are going backwards in quality. Like, like the, the graphics on a lot of these new life sim games, it looks like they're worse than they were in 2014 when The Sims 4 came out. And like, what's up with that? <laughs> You know, like, I, you would you would hope that they would be improving, <laughs> considering it's like, you know, the future and stuff, but unfortunately, that appears to not be the case. Do you like Paralyze art? I don't know. I feel, I have such complicated feelings about Paralyze. I think that the, the Sims or Paras or whatever they're showing, the humans and the build stuff doesn't match. Like, like the stuff that they're making for the characters and the stuff they're making for the, the world, the art style is so different that it kind of throws me. Um, so I don't know. Pa I, I feel like Paralyze, uh, I don't know if they know what their style is yet. <laughs> So maybe that's part of the problem, I'm not sure. But I like, I would like to see the game. I love the idea of more life sim games, but um, I'm worried about the art style of it. Yeah, the like the characters look kind of 2D and the world's kind of 3D. It's, it's almost hard to explain. What do you guys think about this? I feel like I could see this happening by the pool deck. I think Paralyze looks amazing. Yeah, I do too. I'm excited about the idea of it. I always get into this conversation on stream with people because um, there's a, a large portion of the Sims community that is like of the opinion that Paralyze is gonna like crush and kill the Sims. And I, I think, I keep saying this, but I think that's a very dangerous mindset to have. <laughs> we don't need Paralyze to crush and kill the Sims. We want it to be a fun game that can coexist because to put that kind of pressure on a small indie team is not a good idea, <laughs> okay? <laughs> They can coexist. We don't need it to be immediately perfect on immediate release. It's it's gonna p probably come out in early access and it's not gonna be finished and we need to like, expectations need to be reasonable. You know? That's all. <laughs> I just get nervous. I get nervous because people um, really seem to have such drastic expectations. Oh my God, this is so cool. And I really, my, my worst fear uh, in regards to Paralives is that people are gonna be like, this sucks, because it's probably gonna come out in early access, and then people might not realize that it's not finished and then give up on it, and I just, um, I don't want that to happen. <laughs> I want it to have a fair shot, so. Anyway, um, hope you all get in. This bar kinda has boat vibes, doesn't it? Yeah, Laura, we already talked about a splash pad and decided um, the splash pad wasn't really the vibes. Um, we did we did discuss the possibility of a splash pad and decide against it. We spent hours talking about floor plan stuff. The splash pad we thought wasn't really gonna fit. This is covered and I want it to be like bar and seating and stuff more so. There's also this concept, but this might be cool for like a secondary bar or, or something, I don't know. This one kind of has boat vibes. Um, the wood floor, this is from, uh, the wood floor is from Island Living. I was going to say Island Paradise, so I had to stop myself. Um, Island Paradise is The Sims 3. <laughs> so, wrong pack. I think... I don't know, I want like a, I want a bar back for this, but I'm not sure. Most of them don't look that good. Hmm. 
I guess this does, if we use this one from Island Living, we could really embrace like the beachy bar sort of vibe. Maybe I could put this one in the restaurant and it can be a little bit fancier, but the area by the pool, this has like pool bar vibes, right? So we could, we could just really embrace the pool bar thing because it, it is a pool bar. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god, really? <laughs> why? 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 Doesn't feel like a fancy cruise bar. Look at the bowling alley. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> this is a pool. It can be kind of fun. put it on a platform. I can't put the top part on a platform. I guess um, this section is raised up. So it's possible that I could lower it and then this bar stuff wouldn't fit or would fit or whatever. No, I don't like it sunk into that weird spot. Plenty of cruise ships have bars like that. Yeah, I think that we just have a, we all have a, um, a different perspective of what we're trying to build here. Like I, I'm kind of envisioning that it's gonna be a combination of luxury and some like fun party stuff. And you might be envisioning only luxury. I don't know. Um, so it does kind of throw us off a little bit in that way, I guess. We're not 100% sure what we're going for yet. In real life, a lot of times these, maybe I'll put the lounge chairs up against the edge. So that there is still walk space, but they have lounge chairs like all over the place on cruise ships. Hmm. Some cruise ships literally have themes per floor. Yeah. <laughs> Kaylee, Cat, Candy Cane, thank you for the subs. I don't know. The reason I was like concerned about sinking the bar is that uh, it's not even on both sides of this. So I'm nervous about sinking it because I don't know where to like have it start and stop. Um. A lot of this island living stuff probably isn't really gonna work. So I'm kinda unsure about that too. Place the bar in the middle, like in the center of this? I guess that's possible. I don't know. Is there a gift shop? No, there's not a gift shop. What is with the gift shop comments? Everybody was like spamming the other day about gift shops. Literally, it was like every two seconds, somebody's like, why isn't there a gift shop? Are you gonna put a gift shop? Um, and, and I was like, no, I don't really want a gift shop. I was trying to like, we're trying to balance uh, functional stuff that your Sims can actually use with um, stuff that's cool and, and realistic for a cruise ship. Um, and the gift shop thing, I feel like, isn't really necessary in The Sims. It wouldn't be functional, so. What about a dance floor? Yeah, I was kind of thinking about that too, Elliot, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, is that clipping anymore? I guess it being in the middle. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it could be raised up. You can't tell that it's clipping because it's in the middle. Oh, that's fine. It doesn't need to be sunk in. Oh, good. Okay. Okay. Everyone spam gift shop. No, please don't say stuff like that, Aria. <laughs> please don't do that. I know you guys might mean well, but please don't ask the chat to spam. That causes me deep stress. <laughs> okay? I, I know you probably don't mean any harm, but just bear in mind that, like, Spam is bad for me. <laughs> um, should we do like... 
I do like the light colored one. That's cute. The design tool cannot be used on this. That's a lie. You're lying. Oh my god. Oh. It being on a platform is such an inconvenience. Platforms, like, look at, look. Let me see if I can put it on over here. It's because there's the, the horrible huge platform on top of it. So it's kind of throwing it off a little. Okay. It's like thinking that I'm trying to click on the platform, I guess. I don't really like these bar stools though. Maybe I can try and combine them with... Or, no, well, hang on. Let's use those bar stools, okay? We'll use these bar stools and I'll make this section, like the bar section, we'll try and make it more fun and like beachy party sort of vibes, I guess. All right. Um, next step. Let's see if we can get some of the kit lighting. Little campers. I hope that this f will fit evenly across the whole place, because if not, I might cry. Karaoke and dance floor? Yeah, that kind of thing could be cute. I like that idea. Oh. Oh. Um. How does that look? I guess it goes up to the end, so it's probably fine. Oh, wait. Oh, hold on. This is the better spot to put it, because this is the actual end of it. Okay, sorry, everybody. Add a kid section? We do have one inside. The basement, well... First floor has a kid section. That's cute. Um, I wish that we had like surfboards and stuff. I wanna have like cute decorations like that. We got the surfer frog. I do have this guy. I don't really wanna put sand Santa though. Any of the swatches match? It's kind of a random addition. <laughs> I don't know about him. I don't know about him. Maybe cats and dogs stuff might be good because there's some like fishy wall, wall stuff, I guess. I don't know. I'm thinking about like, um, obviously this sort of thing could be good. Oh, oh, maybe this could be a cute statue somewhere out here. I'll figure out a spot for that. There's a cool diorama. Oh, this might be fun. Wait, what if that was in the entryway somewhere and you like walk past it? That could be a cool addition too. It's like a lighthouse island. A lot of times cruise ships will have little like models of uh, the boat on the ship. So that might be kind of a fun little touch to add in. Maybe here's the, the bar's menu. I don't know. Is it okay that it's to the side? I think it's probably fine that it's to the side. Do we have a reception? That's what that room I just put that thing in is gonna be dreamy. I just haven't done it yet because we have a whole lot to furnish. <laughs> like literally so much to furnish. <laughs> taken us a while it will this will be uh quite the ordeal i think trying to finish this whole build when we start this build we started it we've streamed it once before today mitch we did this on was it on monday i keep forgetting what day it was i think it was on monday though 
Oh, the flip-flop lights. Oh my god. Will the bar match the poolside stuff? No. <laughs> Guys, I think we need to understand, okay? I'm gonna say it again. We're going for like, uh, goofy, like, cruise ship themed bar, okay? So it's not all gonna be like super matchy-matchy across the whole ship. Does that make sense? Um, we're, we're trying to like go for some fun and funky pool themes. Silly goofy bar is kind of the vibes that we're aiming for in particular right now, okay? Um, I don't know about these things. These nets are kind of weird. So it's gonna be a little bit fancier out here, but then when you come into the bar area, it's a little more fun, I guess. It's kind of what I was going for at least. Um, the whole ship's not gonna match exactly. It's like how I have, let me show you again. Look at the bowling alley. The whole ship's not gonna look like this, but it's like themed for the bowling alley. Um, okay. So I wanted to get some pretty plants too. I thought that would be a nice touch. Okay. Why not look like the bowling alley though? <laughs> I guess, I mean, maybe I should make it look like the bowling alley. We can have the whole thing be giant, like the bowling alley. How about that? Um, I don't know. I like the idea of there being a little karaoke machine, but even then, I don't know. We talked about dance floors too. And I guess this one is like, Kind of, it kind of blends in with the, I don't know. What love venue is this? It's classed as a bar right now, Hannah. It's gonna function as a bunch of things though. It'll function as a spa and stuff too. Um, that's kind of my plan at least. Hmm. I think I'd like to get some tables. I don't really know. What sort of tables, if they want to be tall tables, that part I'm not set on yet, but. Can I guitar for music live? That's true, like a little section for some live music might be a fun touch also. What do you guys think about those tables lining in? That kind of brings in the right color scheme. It does, like the bar stools here kind of don't match, but if it isn't a solid, there'll still be work people up there. Um, so no, <laughs> you have to kind of pick, uh, depending on what you want to use, you have to kind of pick uh, the appropriate lot type for that function. Does that make sense? Um, so that it, the game will work right, basically, because otherwise it doesn't know who to have be staffed there and stuff. Oh, that's right, I changed the color of this. Well, that makes things better. I can probably use the blue wallpaper back there then. That's kind of fun. Here she goes again with the blue. Okay, cool. Yeah, there's probably live music and singers by the pool. I would, I would totally not be surprised if there was live music up here by the pool. Should there be like a little mini stage? I guess I hadn't really considered that. It might be cute. And then we can put like a microphone and all that sort of thing on in. Oh, that'll be good. Get some more of those over here. <laughs> okay. Um, 
So I need to get musical instruments. Why do those lights remind you of Eliza Pancakes? The, I think the same exact thing though. I totally, totally agree with you on that. The lights do remind me of Eliza Pancakes. Um, what is that thingy called? The busking station? It's from City Living. It has, um, I like it because it looks like it's got speakers on it. Oh, maybe that's not fancy enough. This one might be okay. True performers performance space. Anyway, the, the thing reminds me of Eliza Pancakes too, because I, I think about Eliza when I see flip-flops, because if she's known for one thing, it's her flip-flops. <laughs> what do you guys think about this little setup? We can get a guitar. I mean, it'd be nice if we had a keyboard too, but that's kind of tight. I think the vibes come across. You can tell what we're going for, at least. I don't know. And then we have music over here, or a dance floor over here, sorry. I could probably get another little table. Kind of in the back. No, maybe it should be a couch. Oh my God. TV? Oh, you think a TV by the bar? I guess I hadn't really considered that. Speakers in general would probably be good. Payson, thank you for the resub. Thank you so much. Um. <laughs> Oh, this like PA speaker thing might be fun because they have to do like ship wide announcements. So, oh yeah, this plant would fall into the pool in real life, probably, huh? <laughs> Maybe I'll put it over there. Um, what about like the mosquito stuff? Hold on. I mean, we have these things. This is probably more. I guess honestly, I could like really fill up this area. We could get some more speakers over here. It might be better. Um, I'm thinking about getting a bench or something. What about the Desert Lux kit? Because we used a lot of the Desert Lux kit stuff outside or how about one of the island living couches because uh, uh sometimes on places like this they'll have like lounge type seating granted this is a little bit small for a lounge it's not really loungy but the island living couch might be a cute touch oh okay Okay. I think I like that. And then we can do maybe little candles. If we could get a fun color, that'd be cool. We could put little candles on the tables. Well, that will be when it's done. Gabs, everybody asked that. Um, we're not really like 100% dead set on anything on like what I'm gonna upload it to the gallery as. Right now it's classed as a bar. I'm gonna make it also functional as a spa. Um, basically kind of going for like generic community lot sort of vibes at the moment with it. Um, but not, not generic. That's a lot type. I mean, like we're going for like a few different types of community lots that would all probably function here. Um, just so that way you have options. If you wanted your Sims to come visit, you would have some choices that you could pick. Um, we did talk about a rec center. There was a reason for the rec center that it wasn't going to work. I think it was because of, um the jungle gym stuff. I was I was picturing more like adult space anyway. Uh, Molly, Jenny, thank you for the subs. Thank you so much. Restaurant will be super useful. Yeah, it could probably be a restaurant too. I mean, I'm, it's gonna have a functional, it's gonna have like restaurant stuff in it. So we can make it a restaurant too. 
Um, the problem is it's a little bit big, I think, for it to be a restaurant, just because it's probably gonna have like, like these tables would probably count as restaurant tables, but the restaurant's gonna be in this section. So how do you like direct the Sims to be just there? I don't know. That's kind of the part that worries me, but. Um, should there be couches on the, no, I don't like that. I don't like that. What else does the pool deck need? Probably some lighting. Um, are you anti-jungle gym? No, it's just for this particular lot. I'm not sure if it's gonna make sense. Um, pool ladder? Oh, yeah. <laughs> there probably should be a pool ladder. Let's see. It'd be fun. I wish that we had a pool slide because that kind of thing would be such a fun touch on this building. If we had an actual slide that we could put in the pool. Oh. They, I've decided they don't get a pool ladder. Sorry. It, let's pretend, okay? Pretend that there's like steps into the pool. All right? You can't see them, but just take my word for it, okay? You don't really need one in The Sims anyway. The little toddler one, what, the toddler slide? <laughs> the toddler slide's not exactly a pool slide, is it? I, I want like a proper slide that you can actually slide into the pool from. That's what I meant by that. The Sims 3 had stuff like that. That's cool. Um, all right, I like the, honestly, I like the glowing wallpaper in there. I think that's kind of fun. Maybe a diving board on the side. Well, the problem with the diving board is that this is a platform. So you can't really put a diving board there because it is on a platform. Does that make sense? Um, same thing with the ladder on the side. Do you see how it's raised up? So you can't do that. I think the lights are different sizes. These, oh, I didn't size that one down all the way. Can you not cheat that? Well, yeah, but isn't it dumb to have it when it's not actually functional? That's, that was kind of my thought process is like, if you can't use it, why would I put a diving board there that you can't use? And then like the ladder looks weird because it's clipping. So that was why I was thinking like, no on that, but I don't know. You don't have to. That was my, that was my thought though. It's just, it would be kind of weird. You can't use it? No, so it's, this is on a platform. The, the rest of the building is raised up. This is like default level where the pool is, but this is raised up. So if we put a diving board there, your Sims couldn't use it because it's not actually attached to the pool. The diving board works off platforms with the splash is raised out of the water. Yeah, I don't, this is just too, I think it's too tight. I don't really want to have, um, I don't really want to have a diving board there, okay? I'm sorry. I think it's too tight. Um, we need some towels. I don't really know where I want them to be. Should there be like, maybe some little low shelves with towels on them? I don't know. Towel rack plus bins for use. Yeah, every time I build a, a lot that has like community towels, everybody is like, you have to put bins for the used ones. And I always think that they look ugly. Like literally every time I think that the bins look bad to the point where I don't want to use them. I've seen a cruise ship that has blue towels. I don't know if I want to use blue towels or not because the white towels are pretty good, but I've been doing some research. Um, and on this Royal Caribbean cruise, they had um, 
like when you would check out a pool towel, they would scan basically your room key and then you had to return it and scan your room key again. And if you didn't, they would charge you $25 because people would steal towels so much, which is actually kind of hilarious, <laughs> but they were blue, the towels, because uh, the room towels were white. So they're trying to make them like easily distinguishable. But I think that's hilarious. Has made towels very, very highly encouraged to be returned. I kind of like that. Easy access to them. Basically just buying a towel. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, it's, it, they don't charge you if you return it. The whole, the idea is just to get you to return it um, at the end of the day so that they don't lose their towels. But um, anyway, it's so it's like ridiculously expensive on purpose. It's like a fine for stealing their towel. <laughs> okay. I think I'm liking this so far. Um, what do we want to put? Should we have the same flooring inside the boat or should it be different? And most of the... Don't get stealing letters from hotels or cruises. Yeah, I don't really see the appeal of stealing like a hotel towel either. Cause even if it's nice, I don't know, like somebody else was using that towel. Like it's just, it kind of, it kind of gives me the ick a little, thinking about stealing a towel from a hotel. Like, obviously I'll use the, the towel at the hotel, but it's not the kind of thing that I want to like bring home with me, <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's like really used by a lot of different people, so. Have you never washed your towels? Well, obviously they wash them, but like, it's, I don't know, it's just kind of icky. It's like someone else's towel. I'd rather have my own towel. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, I like my towels. <laughs> my towels make me feel better. Um, they're not as soft at all, but they're so absorbent and I don't know why. You think the hotel towels are more absorbent? I don't know if I've ever thought that about them. That's an interesting, interesting perspective, I guess, is that hotel towels are more absorbent. I guess it really depends on the hotel, huh? And for the most part, I guess, nicer the hotel, nicer the towel, yeah? I think most of the time they feel kind of rough, hotel towels. Which makes sense. They probably are heavily used and heavily washed, so. Okay, I don't know if I wanna do this. I think I want it. I think I want this whole second floor to be to be wood. Actually, let's do just wood in here. You know what might be fun? The new light from the new kit. It's kind of like a wave, right? Like if we're gonna use that somewhere, now is probably the time. Um. I don't, I haven't decided what the staircases are gonna look like yet. I just had used a random staircase as like a filler. I wasn't really thinking about what the staircase would be. <laughs> I was just using a staircase. I think that I like the glass and the white. I think that's kind of cool. From your experience, towels are deep clean every time. Decorative pillows though are concerning. Oh yeah, the decorative pillows at hotels kind of give me the ick. Cause you know they're not washing that part. Like they can wash the sheets. They can wash like duvet cover type things. They can wash the towels, but the, the carpet in hotels and the decorative pillows on hotel beds really give me the ick. I don't like to be barefoot. I mean, I always wear socks most of the time anyway. I'm kind of a big sock person even when I sleep, no judgment. But I, I won't put my bare feet on the hotel floor. Like on the hotel carpet, ooh, <laughs> ew. <laughs> you know, I just don't want it. I want my toesies to touch that. You don't know what's been there. Right, it's kind of icky. <laughs> Must be deep cleaned pretty often though. I don't know, Krista. Do they really like deep shampoo the carpets that often? Uh, 
I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> anyway, sorry everybody <laughs> to bring that up. Lucy, Human Heart, and Hex, and Sarah, thank you for the subs. As a former hotel maid, no. As a person who worked in the hotel, no. <laughs> In a row, multiple people said, no, I work there, they don't. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, yeah, it's, I would be very surprised if they did. You work in a hotel and they've never shampooed the carpets ever? Yeah. Oh, that's what I was gonna get, I forgot about the, um... I forgot about the get together. I want the pool thing. Mm, where are you? Hello, this. Okay, that's not very practical for it to be on the glass. <laughs> Maybe it's not gonna work here. Oh, I forgot about, I was gonna use this again over here. There we go, Never mind. the pool thing doesn't fit. What's shampooing a carpet? You just use carpet cleaner? I mean, I think it, they would, uh, you would like commercially with a big machine clean the carpet, Kobe. That's what they mean by that. Um, okay. And they wouldn't. <laughs> it's the discussion that's being had. We don't need to keep talking about it. <laughs> Alaska and Lucy, thank you for the subs. Put it on the glass at the back behind the chairs. Oh, I guess that's true. I don't know, I don't really wanna like interrupt the glass with something like that. I think I would prefer for there to be something cuter. Or it being clear. I think some little sofas might be nice. And some more plants and stuff, maybe? Hmm. That's nice. Oh, that's also floating, so that's less nice. Oh. It's like, not physically possible to put it in this corner and have it not float. I could put it there. Why is the the square of this item so big? Grayson, thank you for the resub. Okay. Thought I was gonna put tables there for the restaurant downstairs. Yeah, I was Luna, but now the restaurant downstairs has a huge balcony. So I'm gonna put tables out the balcony instead. Noxie, I was talking about this too, okay? <laughs> I'm so sorry if I have to keep repeating myself. People just ask questions because they didn't hear it earlier. So I'm sorry if Chad has been here the whole time. Uh, maybe in real life you would want to face this way in the chairs. You can't get into them in the sims like this though, and it's too tight, so I put them this way on purpose. You're, picture yourself, eyes closed, laying face down in this chair. View doesn't matter. You know? So it's okay. I want to have chairs there and it's the only way. Because <laughs> that, that doesn't work. They're not gonna use them appropriately, so. Anyway, maybe too many chairs. Yeah, but have you seen a real life cruise ship deck? Literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pool chairs. Like, look, oh, why is this picture so small? <laughs> look though, it's just like chairs and chairs and chairs, like so many lined up, like super close together as well. So honestly, like, I could get away with these chairs being, like, completely touching, but I don't really want to do that in The Sims. But they- they will pack in as many chairs on this as they can. Cause, like, everybody wants to lay out by the pool. So. Remove the door so I could turn the chairs? Well, yeah, but I kind of like having the door there. Too many people around me for that. I'm not a lay by the pool kind of person, so I wouldn't really, I wouldn't use that, I don't think. 
I, I'm really not a lay by the pool kind of gal. I, I like to be in the shade. <laughs> um, Lisa, Emma, thank you for the subs. I don't know what I want to put up here. I'm going to give up on that. I want to work on one of the hotel rooms instead. The rooms excite me more. So I'm going to work down here instead. Plus, once we do one of the rooms, we can kind of like do all of the rooms. Because they're going to be like mostly duplicates of each other. If not complete duplicates of each other. Um, let me see. I want to get the Desert Lux kit. Yeah, literally like copy paste rooms, seriously. That is the way. I think I want to use a carpet. I could totally see this happening in real life. Like a, a pattern sort of carpet. <laughs> um, that I think is my vibe. And then the door, I was thinking about using, um, it's the, this one. But look, oh, that's got university stuff on it. Maybe all white then. See? Perfect, okay. Um, maybe scoot that over a little bit more because I wanted to put built-ins like I wanted it to be I guess honestly kind of like closet space So I'm, I don't know if I want it to be from Dream Home Decorator though um, Will I put nasty stains on the carpet? No, no, I'm not gonna stain the carpet. Uh, we'll have we'll have it be really nice in here. No carpet stains, okay? I promise. <laughs> it'll it'll be fancy and clean. You did not miss the giveaways. No, I haven't done them yet, Bray. I'm trying to uh, space them out. I'll probably do them as soon as I finish some of these rooms. Although I shouldn't say that because then people start screaming about it. So. <laughs> I, I kind of try and do them at like a slightly random time because I feel like that gives the most people the most equal shot of winning, essentially. Um, and like slightly in the middle of stream is kind of what I was going for. So patience, patience, but we'll do them soon, really soon. Okay, I feel like in real life hotel rooms have stuff like that, so. Oh yeah, Christine, I have to get the code still. Let me, um, they finally approved them <laughs> or like they, oh, it locked me out. They finally like, uh, finished sending them. I don't know what time they came up, but I, I can't get them right now. I need to figure this out first and then we can. But yeah, they took a second, but we got the codes now. So I thought I was going to have them on Thursday <laughs> and then I didn't I had I had two but not all four so of course it's only PC Mac so Achilles this is the thing right and I'm so sorry <laughs> but I, I pretty much only ever do giveaways uh, that are our PC and Mac and that's for a couple of reasons um, the the main one is is purely for like practical purposes it is so hard to do giveaways on console because on console, um, a lot of, not a lot of, all of the codes are region locked. So what that means is, if I, if I were to buy a code, it would be like Xbox US. And if you are the poor unfortunate soul who has a PlayStation in England, well, too bad. <laughs> um, so it's like, it's significantly more specific in that way, um, which kind of complicates the ability to, to give them out to people. Um, and I have found in my extensive experience of doing giveaways on stream, like I've done a lot over the years, as many of you know, um, I found that the person who wins the code never actually has an Xbox. Every time I say, please only enter if you have an Xbox, I draw the winner. They say, oh God, I don't have an Xbox, but I didn't think I was going to win. So I entered anyway. <laughs> And then I have to draw like three winners to get somebody who actually has an Xbox. And it's just like on stream, it's such an ordeal and it's so limited who can enter. And you compare it to the PC and Mac codes where they're global by default. Like it's just way easier for people to be able to access and win. Um, and I can actually get my hands on those global codes that way too. Whereas like with um, 
with the console stuff, I can't get my hands on like a European console code. I'm, I live in Florida. So it's just a, it's, it's really hard to get your hands on codes for console. It's harder to do giveaways that way for that reason. Does that make sense? Um, it's just uh, unfortunately a lot more difficult. Even Xbox, but no PC. Yeah, I know. A lot of people only have a console. Um, it's just, it's just hard. You can't really win, unfortunately. Um, okay. Um, I think I like the idea of there being a desk. A lot of times in hotel rooms, there's desks, right? Probably not glass. I liked the custom headboard concept, but then again, would it be better? And this might be a stretch, okay? <laughs> but would it be better if we like built out everything like this and we made this into a custom dresser and we put the TV above it and then we had the desk attached to it? Because a lot of times in real life, they have things like that. So that might be kind of a cool way to do it. It's kind of like a real life cruise ship cabin, actually, <laughs> which is kind of fun. Um, oh, the desk is going to be shorter. Hmm. Boo. Eh. Maybe use a table, tiny base game one. You think a tiny one? I don't know. Let me look at, Tiny Living has like a really small desk, but that's maybe even I would say too small. <laughs> you think it's too crowded? Yeah, but keep in mind, okay, it's a cruise ship. So like, crowded is kind of, this sounds really bad, but like crowded is kind of the vibes. Like these these rooms are small. They're, they're really tight on the inside. That's just kind of how it goes. Um, so that's almost what we're going for. The snowy escape desk is a little smaller. That's what I started with. So we may have to go back to it. <laughs> we may have to go back to it. That seems okay. Oh good, it doesn't come in the right color that I want. Island counter with a bar chair. I don't know if I want it to go all the way up against the wall or not. Um, dream home decorator. Dream home decorator comes in so handy for like literally everything. The skinny base game one. Yeah, yeah, the base game has a skinny desk, but I don't know if it's gonna fit in there more easily. You guys are thinking about this one, right? That doesn't look built in, at least not to me. Maybe I'm being dramatic, I don't know. Might be okay. Let me, let me think about it for a sec. Dream home decorator. Is bar counter an option? Yeah, that's what I was just saying is I don't really want it to be. Um, I don't really like the idea of a bar counter because I'm not obsessed with the thought of um, it being all the way up against the wall and the countertops are kind of ugly. but I don't know, maybe I'm being dramatic. A lot of times these sort of rooms will have a couch too. And then the couch in real life is like a fake fold out bed. <laughs> um, console table slash fake desk. Wouldn't it be nice to have a real one though so we can put a laptop on it? I don't know. That's what I was initially thinking. Oh, if the people think that it's too tight, they're gonna hate what I'm about to do. 
If you think it's too tight now, well, get ready for me sticking a very tight little couch together <laughs> and having the um, nightstand scooted into it. <laughs> Again, kind of realistic. Probably would happen in real life. It's all built in together. I don't really like all the yellow. Should I use the more yellow toned wood? Oh no, cause that doesn't, oh. more orange toned wood is what I meant to say. I guess I could use the blue then. I think it's kind of nice. I, I feel like it's actually kind of good. Tiny living bed with fold out couch. I don't think I want to use a Murphy bed in here. I, um, the Murphy bed is, while cute, I think will kind of be too much. Like they'll be really close together is kind of my fear. I actually like honestly really like this. <laughs> I think it's kind of realistic. Emma Princess, thank you for the subs. Okay, I would like to do, maybe on this back wall, um, uh, maybe like a paneling or something. Hmm. Sometimes like in hotels, they do kind of fancy wall accents. You know what I mean? So would it be cool? Maybe we could have it on along this back wall. No, I don't like that. Maybe it's better just on this side. Maybe there should be, wait, what if the plants go on this wall? And what if there's a mirror here? So it's like a fake vanity. Cause in real life, oftentimes this happens, they'll put mirrors in for you so you can use it like a vanity. I don't like them. <laughs> I don't like the size of them. <laughs> it's so high up. Can you lower it? No. You can raise it up, but you can't lower mirrors. Hmm. Maybe we do just a giant mirror. Eh. That's not like really the vibes though, is it? I guess it could be if it has to be. But I don't know for sure. The mirror in the doorway. I mean, we have this one. This one we could, I use this sometimes like a fake mirror on top of stuff like this where I raise it up and then make it look like it's attached to the to the vanity or whatever it ends up being. Um, and that's okay too, but I don't know. We don't wanna put too much clutter in here either. Has to be a relatively small amount of decor because we want it to be like very open for your Sims. Generic hotel room, probably a thermostat, right? Maybe some, I guess wall sconces on either side of this might be nice too. Um, okay, let's see. Honestly, these guys kind of have hotel room vibes just a little bit. So to like these, <laughs> I don't like the framing on it though. I have to alt place it, that's annoying. I'd have to get like a wallpaper that's got um, 
I'm just gonna put this here for a second so I can get it to the right height. I wanna put, okay. Honestly, just by imagining that, I got it in a pretty good spot. Okay. Shall I put this sort of directly above the bed? All right, mirror by the door. And then the bathroom, a lot of times these cruise ship bathrooms are like so tight, which is okay. Like it's, a, you know, tiny, tiny, tiny room. <laughs> You're struggling to hear me? Uh-oh, what's going on? It's not anything with my stream, right? Yeah, Granny, we're gonna have all the rooms look the same. That was my plan, at least, um, was to have all the rooms be pretty much identical. Because I figured, oh, that looks kind of like it would be a toilet on a ship. <laughs> Do you see what I mean by that? Doesn't it kind of look like a toilet on a ship? Oh, you have water in your speakers. Oh, oh dear. Are you good? That doesn't seem good. Wish we had corner showers. I know, in real life, this bathroom would probably be even smaller than this, which is kind of funny to think about, but. Um, you know what? The Disney cruise ships have bathtubs in them. I know that's kind of unrealistic for like the average cruise ship, but the Disney cruise ships do have bathtubs in them. And we've got enough space in this bathroom that it might be nice to add in. Really? Yeah, because they have so many like families with little kids that go on the Disney cruises. Um, so kind of makes sense. These are nice rooms too. So we, we have bathtubs. And it's, it, I mean, technically this ship doesn't move. <laughs> when, when you think about it, this ship does stay right here permanently. How's Disney? Oh, I'm not familiar with Disney cruise ships personally, like, like firsthand. <laughs> um, I'm just speaking off what I've seen online, <laughs> just so we're on the same page. I, I don't have firsthand Disney cruise ship experience. <laughs> But um, I have I have seen pictures. <laughs> yeah, the Disney cruise ships, from what I've seen, they actually do like two bathrooms. Um, they'll basically, I mean, picture if there was like a, you know, this is cut in half and one has a sink and a toilet, one's got a shower and a sink. Or maybe there's no sink. Maybe they're one of both, I don't know. But it's nice if you have like a whole family staying in one tiny room. Cause then you can have more than one person showering or like using the bathroom at the same time, so. That's quite rare, I think, for a cruise ship. <laughs> um, a lot of hotels are like that, but not so much in the same way as a hotel is where the sink is kind of like just out in the open sometimes. It's like, there are two separate rooms, but um, I think a lot of cruise ships don't usually end up being like that, so. Kind of nice. Again, not a ton of, direct cruise experience here. I'm not like, I don't have a lot of reference on all these different cruise lines. I'm just guessing a little bit. <laughs> anyway, somehow Mickey Mouse has, has infiltrated in here too. I didn't mean for him to be able to do this, but he, he has successfully done it. Yeah, I just, I watched this YouTuber called Emma Cruises <laughs> and Emma Cruises teaches me everything I need to know. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> Emma Cruises is my savior. <laughs> She's got so many interesting things to say and tell us about. Anyway, um, so that's that's where my experience is coming from is Emma Cruises. <laughs> All right, copy paste. Copy paste. You love Emma Cruises? Really? Yeah, I like her, her videos a lot. It's just so interesting to me. Lived in Central Florida for 30 years and you've never been on a cruise. <laughs> Dan has never even seen Port Canaveral, which I think is kind of funny because um, my my dad is a is a boat captain. So like I grew up um, 
being down there a fair bit because he like drives other people's boats for a living. Uh, but he he works mostly uh, out of other places now and not out of like locally Port Canaveral, so uh, we don't really go down there anymore. <laughs> and Dan has never seen it, <laughs> uh, which is weird. Uh, okay, I like that. I guess a trash can. You guys are probably right about that. We probably should have trash cans in these rooms. That's kind of realistic. Maybe I can use this one because it's like little wood tone. I should take him, yeah, just to go look at it, huh? <laughs> Do I have duplicate towels in the bathrooms? Yeah, it, it grabbed the towel from um, the other, I was gonna fix that next after I did this because it was grabbing the towel with the bedroom for some reason. I don't really understand why, but it was. Oh, I like that a lot. That's exactly what I wanted. I think that's so cool. It looks like a cruise ship room. <laughs> okay, let me try and fix these towels because it did, it did duplicate them quite a few times. The carpet makes it. Yeah, the carpet is pretty realistic. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Um, that's just one. Okay, cool. So those are like the regular rooms. And then I was gonna have, this is gonna be like a fancy suite sort of room. Yeah, let me show you guys a picture of a, a cruise ship state room is what they call it. Um, let me see if I can find an image. Oh my God. Okay, this one, kind of similar vibes. I don't know if you can tell with like the cabinetry and then the couch. Um, in this one, you see how they have the couch and the bed kind of attached to each other? And this would be a, like, this would probably fold out and become a proper bed as well. So, kind of fun. <laughs> I think we did it. Lots of hotels do this. Yeah, lots of hotels look like this, but the cruise ship rooms I think are particularly small and skinny, so we got it. We got it. Um, let's think about coffee maker. I don't know. I don't really like coffee makers in The Sims. I'm kind of, I think I'm actually kind of anti-coffee maker in this game. <laughs> Is that a weird thing to say? I don't know. I just don't like them. Um, so I don't think I want to have one. Let's decorate the gym next. How about that? I'll probably save this too. You posted a TikTok about your hatred for them, did you really, Jesse? And the coffee makers, all they do is cause problems. I'm not trying to be dramatic about that. I'm, it's, I'm being completely serious. All the coffee makers do is cause problems for your Sims. They're so dramatic. They use the coffee maker constantly. It's just, it's just not worth it. <laughs> like they're so annoying about them. I would rather them just not have them. I don't like them. I've always fell away. I never really use them on purpose, both the coffee and the tea. Cause whenever my Sim uses one, it just ends up making me mad. Cause then like they, they have like a caffeine crash and all this stuff. It's just stop, stop. Your own fault, quit using it. So anyway. Strong opinions about coffee makers in this game, I guess. This room is gonna be the gym. We'll get a fair amount of little decorative things in, decorative, I mean functional. <laughs> we'll get a fair amount of little decorative things in here as if these are just decorations. Just some, just some cute little decorations for your Sims, you know? Just some cutesy things to look at. Okay. I like that. That seems good. That seems good. Or should I put them? No, I like them in the middle of the room, I think. Yeah, or like you don't realize that a Sim made coffee and then it's just like smelly in the pot. Exactly. It's so useless. And all we have to do is clean it. I mean, come on. 
anti-coffee pot for sure. All right, um, did you miss the giveaway? No, Chris, actually you're right on time. I'm gonna do the giveaway in literally as soon as I finish this room or finish most of this room as, as long as, I don't know, it doesn't take too long. <laughs> Um, that's what I was picturing at least. Mm, I'm gonna use the base game posters. Cause there's like some fitnessy looking things. Am I being so silly? I probably scrolled past it like five times. The big tall ones, career unlockable. Um. Oh my, these, there we go. Growing together gym decals. Oh, maybe those are better. These pictures are funny for me to think about because um, here's a little fun tidbit about when we did the builds for growing together. Um, the Sims team had asked specifically that we not use any uh, like gameplay unlockables in the builds. Um, they were serious about like, that's not the right thing, sorry. They were serious about like no cheats at all. So like uh, gameplay unlockable stuff. So like the BB dot ignore gameplay uh, unlocks entitlement cheat, move objects, no cheats could be used like that. Um, and they had asked us not to use the, um, the gameplay unlockables inside our builds because um, they wanted the stuff to be like uh, one story wise, like if your sim, if the sims like in the you know, culinary career. Why would they have an unlockable from the business career? Basically, um, it's kind of the the concept. Um, but I had asked them. I was like, "Can I can I use those posters or like career unlockables in the community lot?" I get it for the houses, um, but I was like, "Do you think I could use them in the community lot?" And they were like, "Hmm, yes." <laughs> but it was like a question that was asked of them because um, they weren't one hundred percent sure if we should or not which I think is kind of interesting. I don't know if you care about that, but I I don't know. They they decided, and I, I think uh, smartly that it was fine for the community lots. I don't know if I like these anywhere. It's hard to fit at places, but it, I, I do get it for the townies houses, why they wouldn't be. Cause again, like they're not in that career. So how would they have that, you know? Um, okay. Right, thank you for the 19 months, an evil kitten and spicy and bee. Thank you for the subs too. You made them reconsider? No, I don't think so. I think that they were just mostly talking about the houses. Um, and I do, I do get that part, so. All right. I don't know if I like that. What do you guys think? That kind of matches the color scheme a bit better. So maybe I could use that. Yeah, sizing up and down, we couldn't do that. Um, all that sort of thing, not allowed for the growing together builds. It's been interesting because it's kind of evolved a little bit um, as they've been doing it. Like when I did the first ones with Snowy Escape, we had a little bit more freedom with cheats. And then these most recent ones, they, they wanted less cheats used in it. Um, and I think they've just been kind of learning as they go with like what works and what makes the most sense and all that sort of thing. Um, so it's, it's been, I think, kind of interesting to see, to see it evolve. Oh, is there only one light in here? No wonder the place looked weird. Okay. Okay. I think... Maybe lockers? I don't know, the lockers are hard because the curved walls. That's kind of, I don't know. We can maybe get some, oh my God, I hate curved walls. Can I like scoot it into the wall a little? What do you think? Sure. Okay. Could I use more mirrors to fix those lines? Like the lines in the mirrors? I kind of liked them actually in the mirrors in this particular circumstance. I don't know what, I mean, I guess maybe you don't, but I kind of liked them. Everyday clutter kit. 
All right, while I'm grabbing this stuff though, I have, um, like I had mentioned, let me really quickly before I do this, send the code to Christine, but I have, um, I have two codes for one for Modern Lux and one for the most recent kit. Um, I mean the swimwear kit, they're both the most recent kits. I have two codes. I think I'll do the Modern Lux one first um, and we, we can have a little giveaway. Um, let me just get these sent to my mods so they can prepare the messages to send you guys and I can get the bot open. Um, but they gave me, EA gave me these codes to give to you guys. Um, so I'm gonna do a little giveaway of them. Unfortunately, I only have one of each and then I, they're also, these are PC and Mac exclusive. So um, just keep that part in mind. Um, they're, they only work on, on computers. If you have The Sims 4 on your computer, it'll work. Um, they are global though, so no matter where you are, it'll work. And to enter, this is for the Modern Lux kit. You can type the word modern in the chat. Um, all you gotta do is say the word modern. You don't have to be a sub, no, but you do have to be following my channel, otherwise I can't message you. <laughs> you don't need to be sub though. Everybody's got an equal shot. There's, there's no like pay to win business here. As long as you type the word in the chat, you are entered to win. Um, and just make sure you're following so I can message it to you because otherwise I can't whisper you on Twitch. So anyway, <laughs> type that word modern in the chat for a chance to win the Modern Lux kit. Um, hopefully you enjoy it. I like the Modern Lux kit a lot. It's actually, in my opinion, a really good one. So um, thank you to EA for giving us these little codes for us to do a giveaway on stream of. This is the, the third giveaway of these packs that I've done total because we had a couple the other day too. Um, but again, type that word modern in the chat for a chance to win. Shocker, the modern Lux kit. <laughs> um, and, and we'll draw a winner in a couple minutes or so. Um, I'm curious, there is in total like 600 entries already. So just bear in mind, <laughs> um, not, it's, it's uh, not easy to win. There's a large number of people entering for the same thing and we only have one of these codes. Doesn't matter if it's capital, doesn't matter as long as you type the word modern. And you also, everybody gets just one uh, entry. So if you spam it, you aren't gonna get like five entries. Every person gets just one. Um, the only benefit of spamming it, I guess, is that it maybe makes you feel better because <laughs> you'll feel more confident that your entry worked, but um, uh, there's no reason to spam or anything because everybody gets an equal, equal shot. Everyone gets just one entry. Does that make sense? And all you gotta do is type the word modern. Oh, I'm gonna enter. I, every time I hope, oh, I spelled it wrong. <laughs> okay, try again. I didn't, I sent it too soon. I didn't type the end. <laughs> I typed modern. Um, but anyway, I always enter my own giveaways because I'm like, how funny would it be if I won? <laughs> I would obviously, I would obviously draw a new winner if I won my own giveaway, but I still think it would be so funny if I did win. <laughs> And if you're just tuning in, you can type that word modern in the chat, uh, all one word, just modern, for a chance to win the modern Lux kit um, for, the, for the Sims 4, the newest build kit that just came out a couple days ago. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys like 30 more seconds to enter um, and then we'll draw the winner here. There's, there's about 800 entries. So type that word modern one last time just so you don't miss your shots and then we'll draw the winner. Okay, should there be like funky wallpaper in here or no? I'm not really sure. And should there be like gym flooring? Oh wait, I kind of like that carpet. Do gyms have carpet like that? I haven't got a clue. I really don't know. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, okay, I'm gonna draw the winner now. We only have one for the Modern Lux kit, okay? And there's like 900 entries. So in five, four, type the word modern. Three, two, one. The winner is Private Papaya. Private Papaya, congratulations, my friend. You are the winner. I'm gonna pull up your messages so I can whisper you the code. Um, let me see what I can do. I'm gonna try and just copy paste what Christine sent yesterday, but put the right code in there. Sorry guys, let me just make sure I send this to, oh, Christine, did you just edit the ones from yesterday? Never mind, it's already typed. Cool. <laughs> All right, let me whisper this to Private Papaya. Private Papaya, oh my goodness. So you should get a whisper from me with the Modern Lux kit code. Just make sure you reply to me on the Twitch whisper as soon as you see it, so I'm like, you know, confirm that you've grabbed it. Um, and hopefully you enjoy it. And we do have a copy of the other one that I'll do in a few minutes here, okay? Um, we'll try and space it out a little bit more though. Should there be yellow 
Is that cute? The mix of the yellow and the blue in here? I don't know. Should there be like funky colors on the walls? This is a hard... The swoopy wall from high school years? Oh, that could be an idea. It is kind of fun. It's tough because the walls are like so, um, I don't know, all the curves kind of throw it off for me at least, but. Reminds you of waves, yeah. <laughs> it does have those sort of vibes. Oh, you can't put a column there because of the curve. Uh-oh. Trims are usually darker in your experience. Do you think? I kind of want it to be bright and open. Are we finishing it today? Oh god, almost certainly not. <laughs> I don't think we'll be able to finish it today. There's there's too much that I want to do. And I'm not quite, um, I'm not that close to being done yet. So. Eh. You like the floors, maybe plain walls? Okay. Hi, Dan. You want to see my cruise ship? Did I see your message? Yeah, I did. I did see your message, Dan. I think now is probably a good time, Dan. Just saying. <laughs> Look, here's the hotel room with my cruise ship. Oh, I forgot about the, um, that's the thing we're forgetting to do is put the little stuff on the, the cruise ship balconies. We want to have chairs. Maybe like a couple chairs and a little side table. They should probably all be the same, right? What a cliffhanger. No, you'll see. You'll see. I might have a surprise for you all. I don't know how it's gonna go, but I may have a surprise for you. <laughs> did Dan's Discord get fixed? Yeah, he's he uh, did, we did manage to save it so his Discord server didn't get unpartnered. So thank you all for helping us with that one. <laughs> Everyone uh, banded together and helped to type in Dan's Discord server, so. Um, he, he thankfully was not unpartnered on Discord. <laughs> um, oh, that's too close together. Oops. All right, what do you guys think about those little chairs on the balconies? Are since able to go on that balcony? Um, I don't know if they can get past these chairs that easily, but it's all about the vibes, isn't it? And not really, it's it's more about like, uh, form over function. <laughs> it's just what it looks like that matters, right? Okay, I think I might grab some of these little candles too. Duck Dan is raiding. Oh, he was still live? Oh, I thought he had gotten off stream already. <laughs> Hi. Hello everyone from Duck Dan's stream. So nice to meet you. I'm, I totally don't know you guys already. Hi. <laughs> Uh, we are currently, uh, we're currently taking a look and, and working on this cruise ship that I've been trying to build. So you kind of caught us at a fun time because we're building a giant cruise ship. <laughs> Who are you? Where am I? <laughs> no, we're trying, we're trying to build a, a giant cruise ship right now. Uh, we just finished working on most of the pool deck. Uh, we have like a cool bar by the pool. There's some lounge chairs. This is like an infinity pool, so it overhangs the side of the boat. Um, We've got down here, I was working on the guest rooms and the gym today. I don't know about the gym yet. I might need to redo it. Not 100% sure. Um, and then in the basement, look, our first floor, I guess, we have a, there's a bowling alley and we've got this like theater space. <laughs> um, it's kind of fun. We've been enjoying imagining things. Obviously lots to furnish though. We're gonna have like a kid's room. This is gonna be a lobby. Um, there's gonna be a cafe, a library, captain space restaurant, spa, like we have all this stuff to do still, um, but we're getting somewhere, so. It's been kind of fun. <laughs> ball pit? I think I will put a ball pit in the kids area. I like the idea of that a lot, so. Okay. Um, I'm overwhelmed by how much there is left to do. This is gonna be the suite. This could probably be worked on, because that's gonna be very similar to the other space. 
it's helping me to work on some of the like easier things like the suite and stuff that um is getting duplicated or the rooms i mean because i only had to do one and then just copy paste copy paste copy paste copy paste so dance floor oh i have a dance floor up here by the bar i tried to put like a little stage for live music the bar and then a little dance floor over there what's the plan for the next giant build oh my goodness i don't think i have a plan for the next giant build just yet um we need to think about it more we're still we're we're right in the midst of a current giant build i guess thought you said dan's floor <laughs> no just a dance floor sorry dan <laughs> that's funny so sorry dan not for you anyway this is gonna be like a big giant suite this is the kind of thing that would be fun for your sims to stay in you know because it's enormous should it be like i don't know should we do a separate room oh dan do you have my surprise Oh my God, you guys are not gonna believe this. Are you ready for your surprise? <laughs> Look at my surprise! Oh, this must be so scary for you guys. Yeah, they- There's big lights in big here, lights. huh? <laughs> These are my kittens. Are you gonna run around? I put them on the desk and they probably should- You probably don't wanna be on the desk, yeah. do you kitties? Come here, little one. I know you must be so scared, baby. It's okay. Hello. This one is sunny. This Aww. one's blurry in the corner. Oh, I'm sorry. You want to go on the floor? You can go down if you want. You don't have to sit up here with us. <laughs> you can't really tell when they're back there. <laughs> this is the baby's first time on stream. I've only shown pictures of the babies on stream so far. I saw. I showed shrimp on stream once. Oh yeah, Dan, you've shown them on stream, but I haven't brought them on stream yet. <laughs> they went straight behind the couch. Snappy doesn't like when I have my lights on either, so I don't blame them. <laughs> oh, look at you, little buddy. You running around? I wonder if he'll try and get into the boxes. Or climb the shelves. Show off on stream. <laughs> Those are my little void kitties, though. Aren't they so cute? Where did they... You can see a tail. Tail? Tail? I'm trying to, like, get it to not focus on me. So you can see cats. <laughs> Tinies. Anyway, that's your surprise. They both instantly went behind the chair. Did they? <laughs> well, from coming in, yeah. I don't blame them for going in there. They haven't spent a lot of time in my office yet. This is kind of new for them. <laughs> I was thinking, I was like, they're probably not gonna like this. No, the office is kind of a uncharted territory yet. Where did you go? Hello, Tiny. Look, you can see them so well. <laughs> Did they already meet Snappy? Um, not face to face yet, Nat. So we it's a kind of been a long, slow process to introduce they're not, they're the kitties. Not, they're not gonna want me to go. No, they probably don't want to get picked up. <laughs> um, it's kind of a long process to introduce cats to other cats. So um they've they've been like We've been introducing smells, switching places so Snappy can smell their rooms, um, stuff like that. So Anyway, little blobs in the background. Hi, Tiny! Snappy might have seen me bring him. Can I pick you up so I can show you to the friends? This one is Shrimp! He has a one white whisker, do you see? Sorry, Shrimp. I'm sorry for making you be on stream. Oh, but the people love it, don't they? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, Shrimpy. There you go. Jump down. You can sit with your sister. Anyway, they don't, they haven't spent a lot of time in here yet, so we're kind of, this is cat torture time a little bit, but I thought you all would like to see, so. <laughs> You've never had to slowly introduce cats as long as one was a kitten. Okay, <laughs> I'm glad that worked out for you. I don't know what to tell you, bestie. <laughs> I would like for my cat to be as comfortable as possible, so. <laughs> What color are Sunny's eyes? They're brown. They both have brown eyes. Yeah. And their mom has like greenish eyes. So anyway, can tell the size difference of Shrimp and Sunny. Yeah, Shrimp is a lot bigger than his sister is. So it's kind of fun to compare them. But anyway, I do have one last giveaway. So maybe now's a good time to do it. <laughs> How I can tell which is which. Oh, one of them is way bigger than the other. And they kind of have different faces. Yeah, they, so. they look different. They look different. It might not Sunny's, be as obvious Sunny's to you immediately, eyes, but. 
She has wild eyes. She's got kind of bug eyes. <laughs> okay, um, so we're gonna do, we have one more uh, kit giveaway. I have one for the poolside splash kit. Um, this is my last giveaway code that I have. If you would like to enter for a chance to win the poolside splash kit, you can type the word swim in the chat, okay? All I gotta do is type the word swim in the chat. Same thing as before, it's a PC and Mac code, so it only works on computer, um, but it is global. Ooh. Kitten. Cat cam, cat cam, oh my god. Wait. <gasps> cat cam, cat cam, cat cam. <laughs> oh my god. You guys, this is a monumental occasion. There's a kitten on the cat cam. Oh my god. <laughs> sorry, I'll stop yelling. I'll stop yelling. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. She's like, this smells. Baby's first cat cam. <laughs> Oh, dang it, we lost it. It was short-lived, but it was fun nonetheless. That was so exciting for me. <laughs> anyway, we're doing a giveaway. You can type the word swim in the chat for a chance to win uh, the poolside splash kit. That was Shrimp. That was Shrimp who was there on the cat cam a second ago. Sunny's climbing. Shrimp is now chair. right there. I do have a couple plushies behind the chair, so hopefully they don't get their claws in my crochets. I keep all my various uh, pillow decorations back there. <laughs> anyway, we're doing giveaway of the poolside splash kit, so type the word swim in the chat for a chance to win. This has been fun today, hasn't it? <laughs> Shrimp is a streamer in training. He's prepared, isn't he? Hello, tiny. Guys, I got us another one. This one is sunny. She came over. You got some little things in your eye, don't you? I don't know if I can get them while I'm live. Anyway, this one is sunny. Can I get your other eye? Can I get your other eye? I can't see it because I'm trying to face you to the camera. Anyway, this one is little sunny. She's only so small. <laughs> You're just a little baby, aren't you? Yeah. Anyway, this is the best day of my life. Oh, that one's shrimp. not focusing on your face shrimpy i'm sorry he's way bigger than her yeah like way bigger than her so how can you tell that's how you can see it in the paws especially yeah he has like way bigger feetsies than her like too <laughs> if you guys missed it i'm sorry shrimp you guys are have, being forced to be like grabbed constantly because we're streaming <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, we're doing a giveaway of the poolside splash kit, so you can type that word swim in the chat for a chance to win. I keep looking for them. Are they over there? Well, there's one by the bottom of my chair. Don't roll over it. There. <laughs> I am not usually, like, streaming while I'm with the kittens, so this is a little different than normal. Okay, I will draw the winner of this poolside splash kit. Poolside splash kit, any second. Type that word swim one last time for a chance to win. As long as you're following me, you can win. Uh, just have to be following me so I can DM you, otherwise I can't whisper you on Twitch. Um, and everybody just gets one shot, so don't worry about spamming it. As long as you type it once, you should be good. And I'll give you like 10 more seconds. And the winner of the poolside splash kit in five, four, three, two, one. Draw entrant is... Maddie Hendricks, Maddie Hendricks, congratulations, my friend. You are getting a fresh new copy of the Poolside Splash Kit. Let me whisper you on Twitch with the code so that you can, um, so that you can download it. Okay, if you could just reply to my Twitch whisper once you've seen it, that would be super helpful too, so that way I know you've got it. Um, and yay, I unfortunately don't have any more giveaway codes. <laughs> I don't have any more giveaway codes, but I did have kittens, so that counts for something, right? goodness. <laughs> um, oh, did somebody ask where they're from? Let me see if I can give a TLDR again for this person. Sophia has asked. I saw someone reply, but I didn't see Sophia's question. What was the question? Um, oh, they said they adopted them and someone said, no, they found them in a sewer. <laughs> well, I, I found them in a sewer and I adopted them. I did both things. Both things are true. They, the kittens and their mom did come from a sewer though. That, that is also true. <laughs> Both are right. So. <laughs> anyway. Um, you want to take them back down? Or should we let them keep exploring? Well, how are you going to be alive for much longer? I don't know. I can take them down now. 
They might like to keep exploring a little bit. You just steal by and snatch them again. I don't know. Do you want to stay up here, Sunny? Oh, TLDR means too long, didn't read. It's like a way to give like a quick, like, in case you missed it, here's the, here's what it, what happened. <laughs> I can snatch him if you want. When are the kittens not considered kittens anymore? I don't, don't they have to be like a year old to not be a kitten anymore? I don't know. I have a 15 year old kitten, so hard to say. I don't think Sunny's going to be able to get grabbed. You don't think she wants snatched? No. They can just stay in here for, while I'm streaming. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna have to get used to streaming with kittens in the room at some point. But these these kittens are only about 13 weeks old. We're not um, we're not 100% certain how old they are because again they got found in a sewer, <laughs> so I don't know when they were born. Um, <gasps> Wait. Anyway, they got found in a sewer, so I don't know exactly how old they are. Oh, I was gonna, <sighs> I was gonna move it. I was hoping you would sit there. They don't want to be, they don't want all this attention. <laughs> They're not used to this. They're not used to being stuck in my stream room with all these lights and cameras on. <laughs> but anyway, these ones are about 13 weeks old, so. That was shrimp again, yeah. <laughs> well, too bad because we love them. I know, they're like, if only they knew there was 3,000 people watching them right now. You guys have got no idea. <laughs> you have no idea. You're gonna have to get used to the cameras, buddies. He's sniffing my Stanley plushie in my bookshelf right here. Are you sure that's not Sunny? That's Sunny. Oh, I thought it was Shrimpy because he was over here. No, this is Shrimpy. Oh, never mind. I had the wrong one. <laughs> I would show you a picture, but I've got a, a couple of my old school yearbooks sitting in a stack right there still. So I probably shouldn't take a picture of it. Although I guess- If it makes you feel any better, no one goes to that school. Yeah, Shannon anymore. doesn't go there anymore because she graduated. So that's a good sign at least. I still don't want to sit here talking about no, what high school I, I went to. <laughs> that doesn't need to be public information just yet. At least not that loudly, you know? <laughs> at least not that loudly. Yeah, but her, um, my the other two, their mom and their brother went to my parents' house um, last th on Wednesday. <laughs> on Wednesday. Not, it's not been a full week yet, so. Yeah, no, probably not a good idea, no. No. There was somebody in my chat a couple months ago that was like, oh, my, I think they said their sister works at my old high school as a teacher now. Oh. And because they recognized um, some of the stuff on uh, Shannon's graduation pictures. I like blurred out the, the mm -hmm. main, it's not a big deal because she graduated, but I blurred out the main stuff, but obviously if you like are from there. <gasps> What are you doing? Watching the sunny. Oh, she's on the floor. Uh oh. With the thing. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. They're, they're trying the to play with each work. other. They're playing with the lights. That oh, work. they're playing with the lights that don't work. I might need to take those down because they don't work. They don't work. <laughs> so if the kittens are gonna have free roam in here, I should take the lights down probably. <laughs> You're up to no good. Oh boy, he has it in his mouth. Dan, you have to get it out. Well, it's on. I mean, they're not plugged into anything because they don't work. <laughs> but... Okay, I can take them. Okay, oh, you have both the tinies. Okay, bye tinies. I'll see you downstairs, okay? So th <laughs> this one's sunny, this one's shrimp. Okay, bye guys. <laughs> Bye, babies! <laughs> anyway, those are my little tiny cats. I hope you all enjoyed that one. The shrimp always looks so dumb with being held. Yeah, I know. I feel bad. They're, we've been like grabbing them constantly on this stream, haven't we? Trying to show them off to people. <laughs> um, but that's, um, those are my kittens. So, shrimp has a point in your face. Yeah, he does a little bit. He's also just, he's so much bigger than her. He, like, I can tell, I feel like he's gonna be a large cat. His paws are big, his head's big. He's like, he's just big right now. <laughs> so I feel like when he grows up, he's gonna be big. I'm so curious about how they're gonna be when they're older. I'm just, I'm so fascinated by, by how they're gonna be. But anyway, um, I think I'm gonna try to finish up a tiny bit more in this room. Oh my God, ads are playing. Well, it's a good thing the kittens are gone. <laughs> Cause otherwise they would be really mad about missing that part. Um, 
Shrimp processing his name through growth. I know, well, when we named him, we had no clue he was gonna be the big one. <sighs> oh yeah, he'll grow into his big paws and head. That's that's kind of the, the thought, isn't it? But I'm assuming that they're big because he's gonna grow into them. <laughs> um, wonder if he'll change color at all. Your kitty was almost pure white and now she's super striped brown and gray. Really? They are, um, Sunny, they're getting less and less visible, but when she was very small and very young, she had like some pretty visible like tabby stripes on her, um, but you can't really see them anymore as much, but especially in like the sunlight, she had like serious tabby stripes, but I heard they are called ghost stripes because a lot of times the kittens outgrow them. Um, your orange tabby was a big kitty and now he's huge and he doesn't fit in your arms. Oh no. <laughs> You're so curious about dad. Christine, I think about this all the time. I want to know who the dad of these cats is so badly because I I would love to see what he's like and like how big he is, what he looks like. Because I would I would love to know like what all their genes are. There is um, a black cat, another one in Shanna's, my parents' neighborhood that my sister has seen before. We found them in my parents' neighborhood. Um, so she has seen another all black cat. Uh, He's not like a giant cat though. He looks about, to be honest, about Frank's size and it might be a girl. I don't really know. We've never been that close to it before. Um, the, the initial thought was like, maybe that's Frank's sibling. <laughs> but I don't know. Um, really, Christine? Oh my goodness. But yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know who the, who the dad is for sure. It, it very well could be Frank's sibling and the baby's dad but could have just been Frank. No, she's seen him at the same time. They, and they look a little different, so. How'd you get Frank litter trained? You wanna take in a strain? You're nervous about that? It showed her the litter box. Honestly, cats, um, a lot of the time, uh, cats are really quite good at using litter boxes because instinctually they want to, like they want to bury it. They want like, um, like that's just what makes them most comfortable. So cats are usually quite easy to potty train like that because they, Literally just, you just show it to them and they say, oh, okay, there's some sand there. It's kind of instinctive. So they're, they're quite good, quite good about it. The litter box are like made for them, you know, and what they want to do. So yeah, the kittens learn with no problem. Like there's never been any accidents. They, they just sort of know. <laughs> they did a really good job with it immediately. So I would assume if you took in a, if you took in a cat, they would probably have an easy time with the litter box for the most part because they would want to. Like it would just be more comfortable for them to use it. You might have like some some stress problems with it um, if it was like brought in from inside or from outside and stuff, but um, be careful if it's, a, if it's a cat who wants to use your house plant's dirt. Oh my God. I didn't even think about that, but you're probably right. That's something to be worried about. <laughs> Christine, I keep getting ads for that litter robot. I don't understand. I literally am being like swarmed with ads for the litter robot right now on Instagram, on TikTok, on Reddit. I'm getting swarmed with litter robot ads recently. Are you too? And you are, Christine, you don't even have a cat. They must be doing a massive like ad campaign right now because I've been getting so many ads for that litter robot. Hilarious that you don't even have a cat and they're sending, they're spending money on ads for you. Really effective advertisement, um, but keep getting swarmed by milk ads. Are you serious? You know what I hate? You guys want to talk about ads on TikTok? This TikTok sh TikTok shop business is making me so angry because all these people you can they're basically TikTok made like a you know how everyone has like Amazon affiliate links. Well, TikTok made a TikTok shop where if you make a video about a product, they make like affiliate commission on people who buy it through their video. So, so many people are making videos about all these random products to make money on TikTok. And like, I swear to you, it's like every other video is someone buying something on TikTok shop and then like advertising it. But it's weird because they're like pretending that they love this item when you probably bought it yesterday and you're making a video about it because you want money and it's just like, I don't trust if you actually like it. It's just really, um, I don't know. It's really bothering me. And it's from like strangers. It isn't people I follow. It's like I get these random TikTok shop things. But like, I don't want to see it. I scroll past them all every single time. I don't want it. I'm not buying anything off TikTok. <laughs> 
Oh, I, I respect the, the desire to, to make money off of it, you know, but um, I just, I don't know how effective it is. I don't know what the payouts look like. And to an extent, it's almost like free advertising. Like you have to buy this item and then you have to make a video on the item in hopes that people will buy it off of your link, but there's no way to confirm that they will. You can't guarantee that. So it, you're like literally advertising for free for this business. I just like, anyway, mark them as not interested. I do mouse. I mark so many, th literally, if you could see me, I'm sat there all day, every day on TikTok, not interested, not interested, not interested on so many things that I don't want to see like that. And it doesn't work. They keep giving me more <laughs> and I don't want them. I don't want them at all. It's horrible. But anyway, boyfriend's listening on TikTok and he went to Etsy to buy it instead. You know, I'm so guilty of that on Instagram and it makes me feel bad because I follow a lot of like, I don't know, like I guess you would say like house people on Instagram. Um, people who make like videos about home decor and like DIYs and stuff. But sometimes I will see things that I kind of like that they link in their Instagram story, but I very rarely actually, if I, I've bought a couple things they've recommended. I bought like a mirror once cause I was looking for a new standing mirror and I was like, oh my God, that one's perfect. But it's so annoying to buy things through Instagram that I'll be like, oh, this is cool. Let me just take that link and save it. And then like, or like look it up later when I'm actually shopping, you know, like I, I don't often buy things from their affiliate links, which is bad cause I do like these people, but <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay, well, I was thinking about putting, I put this little thing here because I was imagining me putting the toilet through this in like a separate closed room. Oh, what if I made it, wait, what about instead of that, I make a custom shower. What if I put a custom shower in there? I don't know. And so you also saves your information. Yeah, but I just don't, I don't really, I don't know. I don't know. I don't really want to buy things off Instagram. What about that? Should I put like a custom shower in there? There's a shopping app that you dislike that advertises every time you go on YouTube and blocking the ads doesn't work because they have hundreds. It's so annoying, isn't it? Yeah, I'm I'm really sorry. I hate seeing those like Timu ads. They're everywhere. And they sponsor so many people to do like I so many YouTubers that I follow have have done like Timu ad uh, YouTube things. Um, they're all over the place. And from my experience, I, I see a fair bit of like, um, I guess like sponsorship offers come through obviously, because I'm a YouTuber. And Timu is one of the ones that like, I it most of the emails that I get through, A, don't seem real. And B, they'll send like 10. I've probably gotten, and the thing is, it's not even my real business email anymore. Like the business email that I, I use now is connected to like management, like I have like, people who um, like talk to brands for me now. I think management sounds like a more dramatic term than it actually is. But I have people who like talk to brands and like negotiate and stuff for me on my behalf now. So like my emails everywhere public is that email address that they have access to. But I have like my old business email that I still use for things. Um, and so it's like posted on old videos, but isn't up to date. So like, I assume they're like finding it online and like mass emailing people. But when I get like 10 emails to that email address from Timu about some weird ad, like, I don't know. It seems like it's not real. <laughs> Can I put a spandrel above the glass, like over here? Or do you mean like replace the wall with a spandrel? Cause I guess I could do that. I don't know. Eh. Am I gonna put the toilet? Um, that part I haven't really considered yet. <laughs> I was thinking about putting it here in this corner, but I have to move the the door again. Oh my god, Jesse, not the fake teeth. I'm glad that you're that she's not buying individual teeth randomly. That would be kind of scary. I was talking to uh, one of my friends about this because my okay. 
what I'm gonna do right now is like really expose my mom, okay? But my mom has collected all of our baby teeth uh, and she still has them to this day in like a little, like she has like little Ziploc baggies for each of us, like for all three of us kids and for the dogs. And she has like baby teeth in her closet in these little Ziploc baggies. And you guys talking about teeth and buying teeth reminded me that my friend Hope as a joke was like, oh, what if you buy your mom like a, a little box to keep the teeth in for her birthday? <laughs> the dogs? Yeah, she has some of the dogs baby teeth too. I would like to find the kittens baby teeth when they lose theirs, but I think they're gonna swallow them by accident. But I would like to have their baby teeth. I've been looking up kitten teeth and how they lose their teeth and all sorts of things like that. This is a weird time to get rated. I'm talking about teeth. <laughs> Hi, welcome to the stream. Absolutely nothing weird is going on here at all, okay? This is a perfectly normal and reasonable conversation. We are not talking about keeping teeth in, in Ziploc baggies, okay? What? Who said that? <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> Mayworld, well, thank you for the raid. It's good to see you. Look, I'm building a cruise ship. We're, we're working on it. We're building like a big giant cruise ship right now though. Um, <laughs> you always get, every time you get raided on Twitch, I swear it's like the weirdest time. What was I talking about yesterday or the day before when we got raided a couple times? It was bad too. It's all, it just, it always happens. <laughs> it always happens. Just discussing this really weird topic about teeth and stuff. It was probably Graves the other day. Oh, it was probably about Peppa Pig. Oh my god, even worse. Oh. Anyway. Oh, the Peppa CC. Oh my god. Yeah, on, on Thursday, I got raided literally as I was going into cast to give my not so berry challenge sim her giant Peppa Pig costume back. And I was like, oh, <laughs> hi everyone. <laughs> well, don't worry about this, okay? <laughs> this is perfectly normal and reasonable and there's nothing that you need to worry about. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Okay, it's good to have this bathroom kind of uh, finished up a little bit. Your friend keeps her cat's loose whiskers. Oh, that's cute. I've only ever found a couple of Snaps whiskers. I would like to have more of them. That's my cat, you know? I wanna have her whiskers. Done Sims crowd control? Yeah, we've done a fair amount of Sims crowd control during charity stream stuff. Um, so yes, I, I have I have done Sims crowd control and I, will, I would do it again. I would never do it um, during a not charity stream though. Like I, I would never do that during a stream where like like today, I don't want people to use bits for crowd control. Basically, I would I would rather uh, like donations to charity be how we're funding the crowd control. So, I've done it. I don't know, maybe like three or four times. It does kind of break the game when we do it because there ends up being so much death and and fire and stuff that. Um, anyway. Um. I think I'm gonna get the carpet too. Last time it didn't work right? Yeah, I was having big problems getting it to work the last time or two. What's crowd control? It's um, it's like a mod for The Sims that hooks up to Twitch or to like my charity stream page on Twitch. Um, and it lets the viewers like buy through a donation to charity or whatever you're doing these coins that they, they can then spend a hundred coins to spawn a fire or a uh, thousand coins to spawn a sim with their Twitch username added to the household um, and like do various things to control the game, which is kind of cool because we end up with like 50 sims and all of a sudden 20 are dying at once of a heat wave. And it's like, it's really chaotic. It's actually pretty fun. Um, and it's cool because people like when they donate to the charity stream, they can like get their sim in the game and stuff. It's just kind of a fun, it's like a cool community building thing. Um, but sometimes uh, it struggles a little bit, at least in my experience, so. Okay. Well, this is open, which is maybe not so good. <laughs> I don't know. 
This is gonna be the really beautiful, fancy um, suite, but it's kind of a weird layout. Might need to worry about this next time we play. These open doors are from the Desert Lux kit. Oh, I was gonna give them a hot tub, wasn't I? On their private balcony. Cool. We'll figure out what else still too. The honeymoon suite, yeah, exactly. Yeah, the those crowd control streams always end with me losing the ability to do anything because there's so much fire and death. What usually happens is the game breaks because so many sims die at once that the Grim Reaper, uh, either A, can't figure it out, or B, even worse, there is a sim limit for like the maximum number of sims that can be on a lot at a time. Um, and so like, it's like the number that will spawn at the bar and stuff like that. And if the sim limit is, is reached, in my experience, the Grim Reaper doesn't come. So like, if there's too many sims all dying, well, there's too many sims. So the Grim Reaper can't spawn because there's too many sims that speed the sim limit out. So they never get reaped and it just like permanently breaks. I think the limit is 25 in my experience. And so if there's more than 25 sims, Grim Reaper won't come. Um, and then you can try to like reset them to just get given a grave, but sometimes it breaks completely. So anyway, there's just, he just can't anymore. He's too, it's, he's too stressed. <laughs> he's too stressed. There's just dead bodies everywhere and he's too stressed. <laughs> okay. Okay, so here's the deal, everyone. I think I'm probably gonna get off stream here in a second. Um, this has been a lot of fun. We have actually made, it might not seem like it, but we've made some really good progress. I bet in in one or two more streams, we could finish this build. Ooh, we have a lot left to do, <laughs> but a lot of it's hallway. So and give me one or two more streams, we can finish the build. Um, we've gotten a lot of work done today. On, on, on figuring things out and stuff. It's looking like a proper cruise ship. I really like this area, I think, so. Um, hopefully you all enjoyed this stream. I don't normally stream on Sundays, but I was thinking that I might be live in the morning for a little bit tomorrow, because I wanted to play The Sims 3. So if you guys wanted to come over, I'm, I'm gonna play The Sims 3 a little bit tomorrow morning at like 9 a.m. Eastern time, I think. Um, so I will be here for that. And then on Monday, um, we're gonna play Fae Farm. I think I'm gonna start with The Sims and then like switch into Fae Farm afterward. Um, but Fae Farm is a new game that just came out. Was it yesterday or today? It just came out. I played a little bit today and it's really fun. Um, and they're sponsoring the stream. So, well, if you want me to play it, I will. <laughs> Cause I've been looking forward to it. Um, so we'll, we'll play that on Monday after we play a little bit of Sims is our plan for the next couple of days. So you're going to get me into a new game. It's a, it's like a cute little cozy farming game. Good vibes. You know how I feel about stuff like that. We need more stuff like that. <laughs> uh, but we'll, we'll do that this week. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, and then, I don't know, a bunch of other Sim stuff in the days following is the plan. Um, but anyway, I think on that note, I'm probably gonna go find someone to raid. I was just looking at my schedule. You guys, I'm not kidding when I say, I have been to the vet once a week, every single week for the last like two months straight. Next week, well, first of all, last Thursday, a couple days ago, it was Snap. Next Thursday, it's Frankie, she's getting spayed. Thursday after that, the babies have more shots. Literally, it's ev every single week, I'm back at the vet. <laughs> it's constant. <laughs> It's okay. It'll calm down a bit soon after we've like have passed the kitten phase, but oh my god. <laughs> I have so many cats and we're like constantly back and forth, back and forth. Ugh. So the kittens better show up on stream again because they got to start earning their keep, okay? <laughs> I posted, I did, um, I had to do a sponsored tweet uh, for a Logitech thing uh, and I posted a picture. I gave the kittens like the box of the mouse that the mouse came in um, and I was joking about how the kittens liked it, but it was like the wrong kind of mouse because they wanted a different one. Anyway, I was joking uh, with Dan. I was like, the kittens got to start paying in the bills. <laughs> I will use the kittens for a sponsored tweet if I have to. <laughs> the kittens got to start earning their way. <laughs> anyway, um, let me go see who all is live so we can find somebody to raid. <laughs> <laughs> These free cats are expensive. Look, I may have found them in the sewer, but finding a cat in a sewer 
does not mean cheap. <laughs> My sewer rats are pricey. That's okay. I, I, um, I have the money and I want to make sure they're taken care of. So it's all good. I'm not complaining about that. Oops, sorry. I spoiled things. I think I want to raid Shella. <laughs> if you just heard her speak, I had her unmuted. I think I want to raid Shella because she's playing Fay Farm, that game we're going to play on Monday. Um, so I kind of want to go over there and, and say hello. Um, but anyway, have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful rest of your evening. Um, we'll go over and say hi to Shella so you can see the game. Did I finish? No, Barry. We need at least one more, maybe two more streams to work on this, I, I fear. Um, but anyway, have a great rest of your night. I will see you guys in the morning because I am going to play a little bit of Sims 3 in the morning. Um, I also have a 39-month resub to share with Shella. Oh, I'm going to do it. Okay, anyway, <laughs> have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your night. Go say hi to Shella for me, and I'll see you all in a bit. Okay? Okay, bye!